welcome back to another special edition of the Power Play Show. Tonight, uh, we are live directly for the Sunshine State in Florida. Yes, it's happening about one hour ago. The Motor Canadian trade uh, Ben Chariot to the Florida Panthers and return. They got the first round pick uh, 2023, the fourth round pick, uh, of course, the 2022, and then the college uh, player for uh, Quinnipiac, uh, Quinnipiac. Uh, uh, Mr. Of course, I'm talking about uh, Ty Smilanik. Uh, we're going to talk about that transaction. We're going to talk about, of course, uh, what's going on on the day because they are not the only team make a trade. Uh, they have also the Calgary Flame have an, uh, make another trade a couple of minutes ago. We're going to talk about also about this. We're going to have the insider uh, boat uh, in our tap and uh, Mr. Andrew Lepage is going to give us their um, comments about that trade for the Montreal Canadian, and finally, the Toronto Maple believe I was going to make a trade the next couple hours or maybe until tomorrow. I expect uh, Mike Giordano for the Silver Kraken is going to be trade to the Toronto Maple believe It's not official. It's not. It's coming on my mouth. So don't start to say, "Hey, he's going to be in my Toronto." I predict the Toronto Maple believe is going to make a trade to get the veteran. Uh, players for the Seattle Kraken, uh, Mark Giordano. I expect in return to get a second round pick and maybe Nick Robinson. I don't know. I'm just thinking that way. But anyway, we have a few people in the house. Thanks to join us. Uh, uh, Mr. Bryce Garrett, welcome aboard with Luciano Graziano. <laughs> Robert Allen, uh, welcome aboard. I think Robert is the first time in the Hockey Nation live, uh, live show family. Uh, serious good production skill, uh, coach. Thank you so much, Robert. Thanks for us. I can't wait to hear from you about the transaction. Anything you want to ask, uh, you guys, you can ask a QA. Uh, Nicola de Gubi Bruno, welcome back. Uh, les, les plans ont changé avec les chances canadiens, mon Nicola. Sean B, back in the house. Uh, that's what happening, Sean. Uh, I, I yell too much to the Toronto Maple Leaf. Uh, that's why I'm losing my voice uh, every single day. But look, uh, welcome back from British Columbia. Hopefully, look, you have an amazing, great night. You're welcome to Sean. La bonne nouvelle, tu vas pouvoir plus souvent voir jouer Chariot. Il s'en va en Floride. It's one Floride. Oui, en plein ça. What are you details, sir? Jordan Talon, number 32. Welcome aboard. Bonne monkey! Welcome back! Back in the house, Bonne monkey. I'm sure he's going to talk about the Florida Panthers, number one fans of the Florida in the house. Uh, Danny T. Welcome back, Mr. Danny T. Thanks for joining us, the bond, sir and the protector of the Hockey Initial I show. Something happening is going to what? <laughs> hey, he's going to flush you somewhere. That's just kidding. But he's going to cut you an upper cut. Uh, Mr. Sean Perry, welcome aboard. Mr. GV Leg Six, uh, welcome aboard. Uh, from Leave uh, Danny, exactly. Nicolas, c'est pas parce qu'on est 32e qu'on faut reconstruire. Uh, uh, oui, il faut reconstruire mon, mon Nicolas, sinon on va rester dans les bas-fonds pour les, avenir, les années à venir. Uh, vraiment d'ici de Hughes, uh, moi pas vraiment, moi très content de Mr. Ben Hughes. And uh, follow you, welcome back, uh, both of them. Uh, first, we're going to see, welcome Mr. Andrew Lapage, going to join us. Uh, welcome Mr. Andrew. And we hey, have is coming going, very soon. We're going to get Mr. Um, in our tap, I hide in our tap right now. So uh, uh, wait a minute, Mr. Andrew. Uh, first comment about the trade. If you don't mind, you can uh, tell us. I'm going to bring in our tap during that time, Mr. Andrew. Uh, well, I think it's kind of what we were hoping for. Glad to see that Hughes didn't uh, panic because I think that's what limited uh, St. Louis and uh, New York was that they didn't want to give up a first round. So it was nice to see them get, they got more than what I suspected they would get. Uh, I kind of, you know, I like it all the way around. They got their first round, got a fourth round on top of it. I don't know much about the kid, but, uh, and we got it for 2023. 
And I think for Florida, this really puts them in the groove for the cup now. That's a great comment about that. Paul Fulo, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Paul. Uh, Mr. Uh, Andrew, uh, before you start, uh, not Andrew, but in our tap, uh, um, at, at least at some point you have to stand up if you want to stay in the same square like uh, Mr. <laughs> Andrew, because he looked like a John, looked like a John f uh, fairy, uh, something like that. But uh, not a problem. I just want to hear from everybody. Then we're going to have the comments for the people in the chat for the next couple of minutes uh, about that, uh, Mr. In our tap. It's yes, your turn sir. to tell us what you think about the transaction. Well, it, it's it's kind of interesting because uh, I had uh, a little bit of benefit from a text you sent me earlier in terms of what the possibility for the trade could have been uh, between uh, Florida, Carolina, and uh, St. Louis. So I, I kind of looked at it, and given what it is now, I mean, as Andrew said, we got we got a we got a first round pick. I know it's a high pick or low pick, depending on how you look at it. And it's for 2023, which is supposed to be a deeper draft. Uh, so that's good. It doesn't preclude the fact that the management might not tie that up with you know another draft pick that they have and move up anyways in the draft. So it's it's not like uh, it's going to turn out to be a 29th or 30th pick overall. Uh, so that that part is definitely a, a bonus. Um, in terms of um, the fourth round pick for this year, I mean that was that was great to throw in there, but uh, I don't think it's going to be very consequential. Um, and then you know, in terms of uh, uh, I'm trying to pronounce his name, Smilanak, Smilanik, I think it is. That's pretty good job. <laughs> right. It's a smart, a smile, Leninik, I believe. Smilenik, Smilenik. Yeah, he's a centerman. Uh, it's, so you can never have enough centermen. He's, I, I think he's six foot one, but a light frame. Like I think he's only about 170 pounds. So uh, he's definitely going to be sent uh, down to to the Laval. Probably, uh, we're not going to see him for. I, I would assume a couple years uh, they're going to have to develop them, and, and that's what you want to do with those kind of guys. So basically, did we get a first? We did, and and I think that that's uh, what it's going to come down to. Yep. Uh, first of all, I um, have a few people. Stefan Manberg, uh, a long-time uh, supporter of the Hockey Nation Live show, joined us tonight directly from Sweden. <laughs> Hey, Stefan. I just want to mention, Mr. So, uh, in our tap, 3-1 Columbus over Ottawa. I don't have nothing to send more. Uh, but uh, otherwise, uh, Bada Monkey is back with us. Thanks. Uh, he said to you, Mr. Well, in our tap, you can have trade uh, shout-out for Uber, Uber Uh So that's the first thing about that. A uh, little bit talking about this trade. First of all, uh, Montreal got uh, trade uh, Ben Charat, uh, all retain 50% of the salary cap of the Chariot until the end of the season. That's not a big deal for identity. It's not, not matter. Uh, the second yeah. thing they got, of course, a first one pick. That's the key of that trade. It was very important yeah. to trade Chariot for the first one pick, whatever it was, 2022 20, uh, or 2023. Um, <clears throat> I like that. Uh, it's going to be, of course, Flerdus should be, be top 10 next season in initial anyway. It's not end of the world for Florida. The four-round pick, you know, at the end of the day, it's an extra pick, four-round. Uh, they already have three, I believe, on their third-round pick, so they maybe mix both of them and get uh, maybe a second-round pick or maybe lower. Who knows what could happen. Now, who is Time Smilenik? Uh, Smilenik. He was born in Colorado, played for the Colorado uh, Thunderbird. It's funny because I coach again, him, when oh, yeah. I was a Colorado Rough Riders, uh, it was really small. Um, uh, you know, when you coach, you travel, uh, th that kind of players they are, when they are really good, they don't pass the puck. So that's how I remember him. Uh, okay. He never passed the puck. Uh, but uh, it was easy to cover him. But uh, he, he, he became greater. He was coached by Adam Foote. 
uh, for a couple of years over there. He's a 2000, he's 20 years old, playing now in college for Quinnia Piak. Um, look, when a puck drop, the only thing he does, he chases the puck everywhere. So his work at sick is, ex- is great. His four check, back check, when he's on the ice, you have one speed, it's up and down. He's not going to cheat. You have that kind. Secondly, you have a good skate. So he's fast, but not like a, an extra fast. I always said above average. Um, but the similar, I always said to you, not an offensive, but the way he works is like Jake Evans. That's what he looked like. Now he's a okay. 6'1", 135 pounds. Um, he has a little bit more talent. He can score. Uh, his vision limited. So uh, that's all the report I got. And um, I asked someone, I called someone around 8.30 from Colorado. And uh, he said, look, I didn't see him for the last one year and a half, but he said that when we play in the, in the USA, he came after the Colorado uh, Thunderbird. Uh, he went by, for, by, before that, he was triple A for Bell Tire. It's a great organization, USA, uh, as a triple A. Then to Colorado, back home, played three years over there, two years with, three years with the triple A. Then after that, he moved up to the U.S. Uh, national program like Aston Matthews play, everything like that. The number was not always there, but he was, he's broken his fingers during the year was played over there. So that's the number of lower. So, um, but he was still played, by the way, at some point. So the guy is really good on front asset, but he needs to improve for me. The vision is accurate. And uh, like I mentioned always, the number on the... And so it does not always count like, wow, like QM. You can have one of the 68 points, but does not reflect when you go NHL. Some pass, and that's not pass. He was a 74 overall pick, uh, third round, uh, by the, uh, the Florida Panthers. And uh, he did he have a good training camp, by the way, um, uh, this year. But uh, is it the right one? Maybe not, but it's not a matter for me. They got a first one pick. Now, if you say, yeah, why not to get the Sinenko or get uh, Eponiemi or uh, Zorzev or maybe Noel, but you're not going to get a first one pick. So you get a compassion. Now you get three for one. Happy about that. That's the key behind that. Because you never know what you draft for. Uh, we got Brendan Gallagher fifth, right? So you never know what could happen. So he's another body can put on the prospect and you can trade that pro- that trade at some point, uh, that draft pick to someone else also. So, um, A for me, that would be my rate, my ranking for that. He got a first one pick. That's what we're looking for, Shariat. Yeah. And Ben yeah. Shariat, guys, is not number one, not number two. No, we don't. No. You're right. All right? You're right. If you trade yeah. him during the summer, you're not going to get a first one pick in return. Right? No. And, and um, you would have lost them. You would have lost them at the yeah, end of the year. Exactly. Yeah. Secondly, so. you, you got him for nothing. He was a UFA. So what he right. gave to Montreal, he was great. He, he had a great three years with it. And see what he's going to do. Now, back to Andrew. Florida now step up closer to Carolina Hurricane. I believe that in the East, the perfect team is the Carolina. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Until the, the Tampa Bay never lose. You cannot take out this yeah. championship he make, right? So they are the, 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 the yeah. one. The front runner for me is Carolina. Now the Florida Panthers is getting very close to Carolina uh, about that one there. We know Sharia was St. Louis. It was with the Blues. It was the Panthers. It was the Carolina. The Rangers, Calgary was around there also, but not exactly. Toronto was mentioned, never been serious about him, uh, but it was Carolina. Now, when I trade, I talked with you know, that earlier, I still believe St. Louis will give them a first round pick. They could get Peterson and for sure, and maybe another round pick or Kaskin. But Carolina, you're not going to get um, better at a second, uh, first round pick. Or Now, I'm surprised Florida gave a first round pick, by the way. But that was a question for Montreal Canadiens. They will never get Ben Chariot if you don't give us a first round pick. 22, 23. That was the first yeah. thing they would request. So for me, yeah. I would say yeah. can use A for the Montreal Canadian. And the Frisier would tell us in exactly in our time what it looked like, the, the pick number 26, 2023. 20, and, and five years go to come back Great. over there and go from there. By the way, I want to mention this yeah. to you. 
Um, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say for, from your perspective now, like let's flip this trade around and let's look at it from Florida's point of view. I think you had started on that point, Coach, and I uh, I agree with you. I think it it really solidifies them. Uh, where would you put Sherat now? Who would you pair him up with, Forsling or Gudis? Probably Forsling, I would say. Yeah, but he's a lefty. He can play left. He can play on that side. So, what Sherat is going to get so much better with with Florida because with Montreal he play an offensive player where he's not. He's a physical yeah. guy, play on the defense yeah. like anybody. He can retrieve all the puck, but he can have a little bit offensive, but with Montreal was too much. He was not supposed to be a forward play. He's not supposed yeah. so now he's going to have give you an 18 minute quality time of what is really Ben Shariat. Whatever is the second pairing or the third pairing, it's really deep or depth. The Florida Panthers cannot, they can move four sling, they can put on the Kudas, they can bite down Kudas. So you can have Chariot four sling, and then you can get Montour, and you can get um, Chariot over there, or you know what I mean? So you can move all the four, and they are really good. So they can play with six defensemen, really solid right now. So you yeah, have no choice and for the Florida right, Panthers yeah. to do that way over yeah. there. And um, I think that. But I want to remind you, sometimes the trade never tell you exactly what's happening. Montreal Canadiens, the time Bob Gainey trade Greg Rivet. Remember that trade? Mm -hmm. He went to San yeah. Jose, right? And he get a return. I cannot remember the player, but he got a second round pick. Right. And do you know who he was, this guy? No. Max Pacioretty. Really? And do you oh, know wow. what Max Pacioretty did now? He got trade who we got, Nick Zuski. So 15 yeah. years ago, now we are today, and we got Nick Zuski of that trade of Bob Guinea did with the San Jose for Greg Rivet. Sometimes you never know what this brings to you. So Where it leads to. If yeah. you need an extra one over there, well, great job can use, because you never know with the first round next year or the fourth round can bring in the future and the letter what could happen about that one over there. So... I was just want to share with you about that. Uh, uh, about that, a lot of people and, and in the chat right now. But we'll yeah. go ahead. Gainey, Gainey no, was just... a genius anyway. <laughs> Sorry? Sorry. Gainey, Gainey was a genius anyway. Yeah, I mean, of course he, he was. <laughs> yeah. And now, yeah. Tom, anything you want to say? <laughs> no, I was just going to say uh, the nice thing too about that uh, first round pick. Not that it really makes a difference because I don't anticipate Florida going south. It, it, it isn't a conditional pick. So if something were to happen, who knows, maybe a lot of injuries next year in Florida all of a sudden drops, that, that pick could be a lot higher for us too. Yeah, yeah, no condition with that pick. Right. So that's good yeah. news about that one over there. Adam Berger, welcome aboard. Bryce Garrett, back. Welcome back, I Mr. Bryce that. Garrett. Thanks for joining us. Okay, if I could. We have, uh, oh, hold on, I just want to finish with Kelly. Kelly, welcome <laughs> aboard, and thanks for welcome, us. Welcome, Kelly. Go ahead. Welcome, Kelly. Uh, I think, uh, really, if you remember, we were talking a few weeks back there, and that was my biggest knock with Florida, was they weren't tough enough on the back end. That they right there, now. they are now, and they really are a contender now. I really do believe so, but I am so proud of Hughes for not backing down on the first because he was getting a lot of heat from a couple of clubs yeah. there that were trying to sucker him into a second rounder and he stuck to his guns. He knew he could get more and I'm proud well, of him. And that's an A plus. Yeah. Especially given that yesterday Manson didn't get a first, right? Exactly. So exactly. it kind of lowered that value a little 2023 bit. too. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, that's great about that one there. Luciano Graziano is in the house. Welcome. Welcome, Luciano. Now, I, I, I start the show with that one over there, but um, Kelly mentioned uh, Giordano is sit. Do you expect what I just said it would be happen? Yeah, I think so. I think he I was think on the radar happen. for a while. Yeah. 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 Uh, Sponis said they got the Sharia to be like a Tampa in Florida. 
Exactly. Oh, that one, but do you do feel finger shoes? No one with them so far. But how do you feel big Ben shoes? No one in the stem so far. Uh, We're going to miss Ben. We're yeah. going to miss Ben. There's no doubt. He was uh, what we had left to me. He was the most, uh, you could count on him, put it that way. Uh, he was the best veteran left in the, the bag. Uh, but again, you know, we knew where we were. The team was coming apart at the seams and time for a change. And we need to go with the youth movement. We knew that. Like I say, I, I think the world of him. And I hope, uh, hope he gets a cup with Florida because he deserves it for everything he's done for the abs. And, and I'm not, I'm not overly wor worried. Yes. He, he gave us some, some, uh, excellent years here in Montreal, but honestly, if you look at our prospects that we currently have defensively, yeah, they're, they're going to be just as big, probably bigger, stronger, uh, skill set at the very least at the same as Sherry if not higher, some of them. Uh, so I'm not worried about the defense at all. I think, yes, we do still need a, a solid puck moving defenseman, a number one probably, but that may be addressed this summer. Who knows? Uh, three things for that. First of all, that opened up the door to Romanov to play 23 minutes, 25 minutes per game. So he's going to yeah. develop better, faster. Secondly, that will give you a chance to have Shoneman. I believe Shoneman is better to Kulak. I yeah. love that. Yeah. That will be another that one game. over there. Then that opened the door for who? Jordan Harris is going to sign yeah, up Harris. next month with a Montreal Canadian. He's going to be part of the team. He's going to play a couple of games. So I can understand what Robert said, what Chariot bring overall, right? But what we yeah. at, what we're going to be, I don't think Ben Chariot is going to be and uh, what we need at that moment. We have a right. first one pick. We got a uh, <clears throat> center. I think overall that's a good one uh, about that one there. I just want to remind you, Andrew said, oh, the flood of Panther was not fiscal. The last one was really physical. You had to go four or five years ago when it was Eric Gorbenson, the defenseman, and mm -hmm. still not, the fans does not still not remember, they still not understand why they treat him. It was the under about Mr. Uh, analytic role when he fired Gerald Gallin, uh, but uh, it was the time with Gorbenson, so I just want to share with you about that one over there. Uh, if you have any questions in the chat, if you have anything you want to join us, please let us know. We're going to invite you to join us at any moment. That's not a problem. I wish it would give Matthews the big C. He proved himself as a leader. Uh, I would be glad to see Devarez go. I like the guy, but not someone who built around. Poor guy. <laughs> because, I, I you don't know. know. I, I, I disagree. I just agree. I, I totally disagree. I, yeah, I mean, I know he's older now, and of course, you know, you're looking the future. It's going to be Matthews for sure. Uh, but I mean, look at last night. He stepped into Matthews' position. He got a goal. He got an assist. Uh, yeah. He he does his job. He's a leader. Uh, it, it's just that even even with the Islanders, I mean, I I don't I don't think he ever parked 50 goals even with the Islanders when he was young and at his prime. I think he, he got many years in the 40s or or stuff like that. But, I mean, this is the guy that sets other people up, right? He, he's a playmaker. Uh, he's always in front of the net. He's He he has good control of uh, of rebounds and knows how to re-deflect it. And, he does a decent and, of that. What, it's not a scoreboard. And when he's yeah, not a score exactly. sheet, people don't yeah. look about that. But I've been honest with you, right? Uh, he has a... He has uh, 48 goal. Uh, no, he, he never been. Um, 47 goal is the max he got, Mr. Inata. Right. You have 88 right. exactly. points about that one. But my point is this part, right? Forget the salary, right? Forget about this. You have 57.59. How many players in NHL as a second center have a, almost one point per game? Exactly. Exactly. Not many. I understand. Oh, yeah. But you go to sell maybe uh, Kadri and the, and the, a few, not a lot. And they have a chance that, but take out Tavares right there, second center. Play with Kerfoot for the next 10 game. And Matthews there, number one. Yeah. Right. You're going, you to see, oh, you're, going to, you're going to remember next week after that. Oh, maybe we need Tavares right there. 
The problem is they, they see the $11 million attached with Tavares. Take yeah. off the Tavares, but look what the player I bring on the table, on the ice every single game, and the face-off, one of the best face-off in the NHL, the puck retrieval, yeah. the battle, puck protection, feed the players around him, and he does, he go, and he go inside in front of the net, and he go in the corner. That's so, it. That's it. Not, not many center does it. I can understand fans could be upset about him because he, re, he, he relate as his, his contract about that one over there. Carey Price been in the same, same thing for 10 years in Montreal. Because you see Carey Price with $10.5 million. Yeah. But no, no Carey Price to share. Where, where, where are we? Yeah. Oh, we are last in NHL. I mean, everybody wants to attack to Tavares. I'll tell you, bottom dollar. I've noticed a trend in the NHL when and then when this thing started up with the superstars becoming captains, I don't think they do that great of a job. I think that's part of the problem in some organizations. You need to put the true leader with the C on them. And I'm sorry, like you look at Colorado, I think they got it better together with Landis Gog and Nathan McKinnon and McCarr can focus on the offensive potential more so. Atlantis Gog is a perfect example of a good captain. So is Tavares, to be honest. But Austin Matthews, great hockey player. To me, he's not a captain. I'm sorry. And it's the same thing. I know we have our debates over Suzuki. I love what the kid does. I don't think I would go with him for the future captain. Let him focus on his point production, right? Imagine Matthews last year and now captain with all the pressures going on around the team. Yeah. Exactly. I'm not sure exactly. he's going to have that kind of number to go. Because you have, right. uh, I'm pretty sure you have some uh, night he does not sleep. Uh, Run and talk about um, you guys think about John Crack is a southern style player. So John Crack got trade uh, from Seattle yeah. to the to Calgary. Calgary Flame. They got a writ a lot of a lot of the round pick draft pick and return. Uh, I don't want to go all the way up, but you have three of them yeah. if I can recall it. So his questions about what you think about John Crack and the stand the Calgary Flames. Um, well, yeah, he got the. I, I think, I think Seattle retains also fifty percent of his contract. If Possible. I'm not mistaken on that. Yeah, and and I think they got a second and a third, but different years. I don't know which years is which. Um, I don't know, John Rock. To to me. Uh, what is he? He's got to be around, I think he's got to be around 29, 30 years old now. Yeah, maybe 30 he's 31 years old. years old. He was played a lot with the Nashville yeah. Predator. Um, he's yeah. a great he had, bottom uh, six, work hard, yeah. fit well. Yeah. The, for me, that's questions about, um, um, he's I mean, 30 years guy, old, by the way. You can slot him anywhere in, in uh, Calgary. He, he'll fit into that lineup. And I, I think he offers them, uh, you know, um, some some extra scoring depth um uh yeah. like he's not going to score a lot i i think he was around maybe 14 goals something like that um he's on average of 15 gold per year right? yeah yeah exactly. and uh he played right now he's 17 gold this year and 49 game that's not uh, oh, that's not too great. bad at all uh 12 goals yeah. sorry uh, but again i think for me he fit very well more depth i think they was trying to get uh noel asheri for the Flem for the Panthers from Florida, and he did not get that. They got Sean Crack. Fit well, another big, yeah, deep so. and their system. I think they missed Derek Ryan this year. Now they got him in case something could happen. So I think that's great. Um, those kind of players for Sweden are really good. I will give you another name looking for him, like him, a Jen Mark for the Vegas Gold, uh, Golden Knight. Uh, the year where Dallas went all the way to the end, he does a lot of things like nobody show. Um, he's great. He's a great bottom six, working yeah. hard, a little bit like Likonen. Jan Krak is yeah. kind, that kind of style of player like Jan Krak and John Mark. Likonen is a prototype, can play on PK if you want to, like that. so great pick for the Calgary. I think so. Uh, Kaladu yeah. pick it up, a great player. Flutter pick up, you know, the big game, the big team now pick it up, a lot of good. I can wait if a Tampa Bay Carolina go to step up to pick up They're some They're going to do something. They're going to do something. But I think well, that is really showing that Calgary is all in to make a run for this. So oh, I think absolutely. it's a good move depth-wise, right? It's going to help yeah. them a lot. So they're all in. There's no doubt. You're right. You're right. 
Uh, Danny said that Tavares play better when he play on first line. Uh, Bob Guinea like uh, Bob Guinea like we to wear dress and droop. Danny, you want to be president of the league? Good one, Danny. How many league fans are got here? Everything good. I think Dan Ashan will come aboard. We are behind right now. Kadet said, good evening, gentlemen. Kadet, you are awesome. Thank you so That's much. Uh, Ellen Keeb, I'm officially a Panthers fan. Go big, go. Uh, good, get that <laughs> ring, but you still hurt. I think a lot of people are. Ellen, <laughs> uh, I can understand that, uh, but that's the way, Ellen, we have to go to the right direction uh, about that one over there and hire me as a GM. Uh, Adam said, uh, Andrew, I told coach last night Vegas should try something. The initial has never been done. Fire the board, the bear, uh, Peter the board, and put stone behind the bench. Uh, Vegas needs stone either on the ice or behind the bench. It's definitely the heart of them, that's for sure. But I don't think that's yeah. the answer. But uh, <laughs> I, they know. just need stone so badly in the lineup. There's no doubt about it. But I, I think they're going to miss. I'm really uh, concerned about them. Yep. Yeah. Uh, RG, welcome back with all the the result. Yep, Columbus three, Ottawa one, and not that. Just let you know. Um, why would they said Carfield is key trait? Uh, why would they said Carfield is key trait? Uh, no, then uh, at maybe in that read or here uh, they are not on the trade. They are going to be with the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, good deal for both team. Doosby, I. Can I, add, I cannot add more what he said. Uh, we yeah. absolutely said agree. Uh, by the way, I think Deuce B is a new um, first time in the in the chat here. Welcome aboard, Mr. Deuce Welcome B. Welcome aboard. Welcome. Great comment, please. <laughs> not yet. We didn't see yet. anything yet. He has, he has to subscribe first. You have to do something bigger. <laughs> we open the door. And then we offer them some snack and then some drink. And now we have some people work for us. Uh, we just need to change their, jur their shirt now for the Hockey Nation show. But it's coming soon. Got the three, it's coming soon got about the three that girls one. Hooters there. waiting in the back room there. Yeah. Uh, Ozzy, Dan, and Kelly talk about Shane Crook. Uh, oh, so Ellen, you would be a Lee fan. Ishaya would be end up there. Oh, I love that one. Ooh. Uh, Renault oh. said, Kadri better to John Tavares. Uh, it's, it just Calgary can't Kedri afford him right now. No. Calgary can't no, afford Tavares. He's not better. He's not, he's not better. I don't, I Kedri, don't think so. Kadri uh, excelled a little bit once he got out of Toronto because he was playing A, with better players, and, and B, he was put initially on the third line and then moved up a bit to the second line. So he he's a hothead. From, yeah, when he was in Toronto, he was either first or second line all the time, and he's, he's not, not a that Tavares. type of player. Not a Tavares. Yep, I agree with you about that one. Uh, question from Paul. Uh, I think we are only 15 minutes behind. What do you What do you think? <laughs> what do you What do you guys think uh, uh, about Tyler Pitlick and how does he fit in with the abs? He had gone in the off season. That's where I think he you fits in. You think? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't much. think he's going to fit in. Yeah. I don't I, think. I, I think, think he was he more was of just... a salary dump for yeah. Calgary. Yeah. Totally. Um, yeah. But I don't know. I, I, I would still like to give him a tryout in the 20 oh, they games probably that will. are left. Just to see. Like maybe he'll click. Who who knows with his brother? Or is it the brother or cousin? Cousin. 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 Yeah, I, you know, maybe they'll click. Who knows? Uh, you're going to have the opportunity. You might as well experiment. Not much for me right now for him. He'll be gone. I'm sure he'll be gone. Montreal loved Joel Armia. I know the story. So. I, I read the ad <laughs> where on the McBean, uh, the center who signed um, with the wall. So what? Yeah. Uh, Chris Henson, I believe, is another one first time I show. Thank you so much, hey, Mr. Hey, Chris Henson. Chris. Welcome. What do you, what, any, any one of you know something about McBain? I know who he is, but uh, about what we at with that case over there. We're getting close. 
we're getting close. It sounds like we're kind of in the lead with the second round pick form. I think that's uh, Billy Guerin's more than willing to accept that from the sounds of it. And I think we are the front runners on them, to tell you the truth. I don't know a lot about the kids other than I'm reading up on them. I've heard some of the things you've mentioned. Yeah. He sounds like not a bad choice for a third or fourth minor. He, he's a much bigger boy uh, uh, than the one we just acquired. 6'4". Uh, 6'4". Four. Six, yeah. four, I think he's 210 pounds. Uh, uh, and who skill knows? sets. Right. I mean, he's he's a uh, – I'm not sure. if Is he a second rounder? No, he's a third rounder. He's a third rounder. Third, he was a third rounder. We're going to give up a second to get him, but uh, yeah. he seems to be willing to do so. So I think Sets, we're close. Seth uh, like Lee is better to um, yeah. tie. He had like almost one point per game, maybe turn that. So he's better about that one there. Play for Cub Boston. So that's a better yeah. way over there. Better, um, yeah. I still believe maybe they would be trade Weber. But again, you know, with the four, the four round pick we got. You add yep. this with a third, both together, yep. and you send him to Minnesota, maybe you get McBain in return. So, but, exactly. And so back to Chris, they are talking with Minnesota Wall. One team, they are not the only one. They have two more teams are running for, about McBain, but Montreal yeah, is yeah. one of them, so we'll see about that. Uh, but then I don't know that, about right. that one, uh, why they talk about Carfield Ski, but uh, um, they are not going to be trade for sure. No. no. Uh, Kelly, I'm listening. Matthew's talk. Uh, where Renault? Uh, Panthers should have trade for Giroud instead of Chariot. No, I think they needed well, the back end work yeah. on a bit. They needed some grit back there. That was First their real weakness, to tell you the truth. Now that it's solved, I really have to agree. A coach mentioned it before, and I, I'd have to say now they're a really a true contender. And I was, too many forward over there. I was going to ask you yeah. also. Does it necessarily take him out of the sweepstakes for Giroux? I still That's think safe. there's a door open. They have no That's money. Off. No. Well, it depends what they have to give up in return, right? I mean, they still have, um, um, uh, you know, a couple of players that they could trade. They could package together. Um, the only one you could do is Orvis. And the thing about this Giroud right now, it costs you a, a prospect and a first round pick. Oh yeah, easy. No, no they don't. I don't, I don't so, believe they're going to go near him. So I don't so see this puts, happen. I guess that puts Colorado as the front runner. Yeah. Can you say she's pretty, she's she's thinking Jordan will go to Toronto? Are you happy with that, Kelly? I think he's going there. Yeah. Uh, let's get the refi. Like, what do you think? Uh, what do you, what do you guys think will happen with Toronto now? They're still getting knocked out in the first round. They need some grit. <laughs> Sorry, they'll be uh, they'll be out there playing some golf. Don't worry, Kelly. Uh, uh -oh. We can Here all get some tickets Bryce. to join. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce is going to let you hear it now, Andrew. <laughs> And don't forget, guys, click on the like. We have 45, 47 yeah, people. What we're doing, right? <laughs> 47 uh, people, 29 likes. So if you don't mind to click on the like, that'd be appreciated for each one of you. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, I think Toronto is going to get Jordan. I like, uh, get a good defenseman, first of all. I still am not sure about maybe a dead forward. Um, that would be another one I'm looking about, like Claude Bach or something like that. Can they add another right defenseman? I don't see no problem. Uh, about that, but that will cost them a second round pick and also uh, Nick Robinson, and they don't have a lot after that to trade. So uh, we be interesting. I don't see the trade I for the goaltender. They or if they get the uh, if they get a goaltender, it will be a secondary goaltender like Martin Jones or Brandon B or uh, Halak or I don't see like a number one like a big one. Yeah. In my in my opinion right. right now, I don't see that. Yeah. Uh, where does Giroud end up, Panthers or Avalanche? I think he's going to end up in the Avalanche, the way it's going. Yeah, I think so too. No. Do not, I, I, do not I forget said, the Minnesota Wall. That's true. That's true. And that would be a good pickup for them if they can fit it mm -hmm. in. Yeah. And it's two two right now. So. Oh, Ooh. well, you see. Nice. I told nice. you about that game. <laughs> yeah, but you you don't tell me the right one. 
Uh, Thomas I said Boston. <laughs> Mr. Thomas Cook is in the house. Thomas, first time, another one for the first time. Thanks for joining us. Welcome, Don't forget to subscribe, click on the lights. Uh, yes, Mr. Uh, Thomas, uh, um, I live also in South Florida, so a big, big fan of the Panthers. Uh, you just add another additional great defenseman. I think that's make the Panthers better. And uh, you have a chance to make a little bit longer in the playoff. All the way, who knows? But uh, they are getting closer. I think the Panthers are two years before they win the Stanley Cup. Yeah, they're in the ballpark, that's for sure. Yep. Whatsoever it could happen this year. But my point is like, if I have to get, uh, to get more money on them, I would be the year number two, not this year, the year yeah. after that. I, I that one that. There. Oh, the year Huberto comes to Montreal. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, uh, yeah and you dream. Tampa's going to three-peat, unfortunately, so, you know. Coach, is this show a special? Coach Sherry was straight. Uh, welcome, Deuce B. <laughs> About that, no, Kadri is not better. Kelly said, I Deuce. Uh, let's go to a 24 hours podcast, Coach, one time. Yes. And when I get <laughs> that kind of subscriber, Mr. Dan, I promise you a 24 hours uh, uh, and we'll I keep in our for my with me for 24 hours. He does not know we'll yet. We'll bring our Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no way. And here we go. Ellen respond to uh, to Mr. Uh, uh, Danny. No way in hell. No one in the hub will make me a leaf fence. <laughs> um, uh, Jacob Rudy, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us. Uh, finally, we reached that level. Uh, uh, Alex Tubik, the scout is with us. Uh, Alexis, je crois qu'on a parlé beaucoup de ça, donc euh, on rejoint ta question, mais on est déjà passé, euh, ça fait 15 minutes, donc on essaie de catch up. Si tu as trop de questions, moi, Alexis, laisse-nous savoir. Merci encore une fois d'être avec nous. About that. Uh, Uh, use the card coach at the Hooters for 15% off when you subscribe. Uh, we negotiate right now to get the sponsorship for us right now. I'm, I'm getting surprised. I'm going to surprise you at some point. And uh, maybe... Get Danny on it. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, with the day I'm going to tell them, when I've been telling them, I'm going to go to Papaya, Bangkok, or... I don't think so. We have one in Phuket. I know they have one in Papaya. I'm going to do a live directly inside the building of the Hooters live Hockey Nation live show. <laughs> But we still have to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> Can the app use draft pick to sign Jason Robinson or Kiru uh, with offer sheet? Not allow Renault. Uh, forget about that. Um, you don't build a team with offer sheet. Uh, only Carolina does this. And they are really happy about KK. And KK is very happy to be Carolina. So... <laughs> Uh, everybody's happy with it. It's a marriage made in heaven. It's a great marriage with that. Play four line, $6.1 <laughs> million. Dollars, and he got 11 points, something like that, and uh, 11 goals. When they, everything is great over there. We better hope they don't win the cup. Uh, <laughs> yes, until then. We're going to win a team per uh, Andrew. Bryce said that to Ellen. Okay, Bryce, Ellen, uh, they leave all the best team in the NHL. Uh, be careful, she's going to doing a new uh, cut. Uh, here we go, Stratik, welcome aboard. Welcome, Stratik. Welcome, Stratik. Kelly joined Crack from Kraken. Uh, uh, Stratik followed the Kraken a lot, so he watched them a lot. He said that he will, uh, Kraken will miss, you, miss him uh, and your iron hook shot, but that sweet, sweet return in the draft pick. Uh, He's right about that. The Kraken got some, yeah. uh, something in return. They build, and they are the bottom. Yeah. But if we, as Stratzik, I believe, uh, we're going to do a one very soon, Mr. Notap, uh, a lottery uh, stimulator uh, from the website. We're going to see where we pick. But I still believe Shane Wright is going to be trapped by the Seattle Kraken. You're probably right. I still believe they're yeah. going to finish last in the, in the standing. Do you think? I, I don't. I don't think they'll finish uh, last. I. I think. Oh, then again, they just, if, if they get rid of, uh, it depends on if Giordano goes. Now they lose John Crack. They're going to lose John uh, Giordano. They're going to lose maybe one or two more. They don't have anybody yeah. after that. All right. And during the time, Montreal is going to pick up yeah. five, six, seven W. The uh, Arizona, the play, they will. The the level they play will be fine. 
<laughs> and then you have Philadelphia and Seattle. So honestly, I see Seattle, Montreal finish one and two. Then it will be a race between Arizona, Ottawa, Philadelphia, and that's it. Oh, Mr. Hughes yeah. will fix that, though. He'll, uh, yeah, yeah. he'll get rid of Armia, Lekanen, Derwan, he'll, and Hoffman. We'll be all good. He'll put Primo in that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh, Alexis, John quite to the flame. I agree with you. Uh, and I thought I'm okay with Jordani coming here. Can we get Kiru? Uh, no. Uh, Kelly, about that one over there. Uh, you're right, Andrew. Leave would be golfing after the first round. Uh, they're going to have to choke again. See, you have a couple, uh, couple of the upper cut left and right. Uh, uh, Pentos have the Frank Venetru money, uh, Thomas said. But it's not good enough to cover uh, now Giroud because you have to pay uh, 1.7, I believe, from Chariot. So the veteran who I think he was at two point something, I could be wrong, cannot remember. But uh, he was in that ballpark. Yeah. About that one there. Uh, Franco Yacono directly from Montreal. Hey, Franco. Hey, Franco. And uh, now Kashariat is straight. Uh, will Petri step up or he will uh, will his weaknesses uh -huh. be constantly exposed and we have to stuck with a Petri? Uh -huh. The latter. Oh, his, I wish that we could get rid of him. Exposed. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's going to be a nightmare all the way. So, see, coach, there's going to be the way we get our bottom of the basement. Right there, Jeff Petrie. Last night, gonna, another yellow card. Again. Perfect example. Yeah. Yeah. Could be a crossover. Comments, he did get um, us two points. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, let's move on because I, I feel good so far. Goals, so I want to stay calm tonight. <laughs> Krakenfeld will miss Kelly Crenshaw, but he was a UFA, and everyone in Seattle seemed very pleased with the return. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. th that's what Seattle has to do. They have to build up. So the picks Crop are time. definitely the way to go. What do, what do you guys think about the uh, Thomas Hurdle 8-8 eight and eight for the uh, San Jose Sharks? Very fair, very fair. I yep. like it. I think it's. Uh, uh, I'm not surprised we about it today. We thought it may, it may have been a little bit higher for a shorter term instead of the longer term and the lower wage, but uh, they definitely had to keep him to move forwards. I, I think it would have been a huge step backwards for San Jose if they didn't sign him. Absolutely right about that one. There, welcome, Mr. Zev Lakav. Welcome, Zev. And then says, Mark Giordano is not playing tonight. Uh, yeah, and Lee would be out the first. He would be made to Kabul. They talk about golf now. Uh, Danny, about 50% coach. Always a no, Renault. Uh, Austin Matthews is going to replace Tiger Woods. Uh, Kiel Jacob, he said, this is not a surprising. Um, I'm not sure no. if it's about something specific. But uh, uh, yes, then, one day we're going to get some. Uh, Kelly will need to get Zubwa a Shanahan fire and see who will take over. I I don't know yet. Uh, do you do you guys think the Panthers sign Shariat in the offseason? If yes, what would be his contract? Actually, that's a very good question. I was just I think thinking they will. of asking you that as well. Um, I think they will. Yeah, I, I, if I'm Sherrod, I would I would want to stay in Florida for sure. Not only is are, are they possible uh contenders for the cup again next year but it's it's a great place how to much be, great place to have um how much was he making now 3.5 i think he'll get about 4.5 two years yeah you don't think no if it's in florida you get about below 60 million dollars if you go in the market everywhere, he get more $60 million. But to stay in Florida with a tax, live in South with a sunshine, uh, you have to think if everything was going on in Tampa, the player would take all the money less, and there would be the same thing with him. If you stay in Montreal, right. uh, over there, I would be shocked. It's over $60 million. I expect more $14 million. Uh, he's 31 years old. They will give him an extra year, but at 3.7, 3.5, uh, 
for four years contract. I will be surprised. If you got three million at a four million, it will get a three years at twelve million at three years three million twelve million dollars. Could be a little bit four point two at three years, but again, it's below fifteen million dollars. If it's a three million at three years, it's a four could be under sixty million dollars. Um, I don't think they'll go too long with him. I, He's I mean, thirty-one years old, so age. I see three years, three minimum, years the most, minimum, maximum. Um, yeah, on I the market, he get between sixteen to eighteen million dollars, I believe. Uh, but when you play for a team like that, why do you go somewhere else? Yeah, no, I agree with that. Yeah. I think that's going to be a perfect a, marriage there. Tell you the truth, they're going to love him. He's going to love them. It's going to work out yeah. one way or the other. Johnny <laughs> Golden, welcome back. Hey, uh, welcome come on down. Johnny. Now the question is, Ab are done dealing? The Habs? I don't think so. I think if they can, if they can move a couple more pieces, they definitely will. Well, I think the uh, the McBain thing is more likely to happen whether we're going to unload a player i'm not really sure if we do i think it's only going to be one more i think i still think our armia is is in the mix somewhere i uh, hope you're right <laughs> lekkanen will be one of those monday night uh, or monday afternoon decisions if the price is right for him they will That's definitely the key. get rid of him price um yeah and you never know. Maybe somebody will be desperate to want to pick up Petrie right away. I, mean, I always said here, Kulak, Armia. Lekanen is Kulak, going to be yeah. trade if another team get better. That's yeah. right. At and, the top yeah. four example, right? So a team get something really, wait a minute, we have to go somewhere now. And that would maybe slip here there. But again, the big piece of the wood is the Montreal Kensington got on Lekanen. They don't have to trade him. The only way you trade him is a prospect A and a first one pick. If Montreal get a first one pick and return, that's give them five first one pick for the next two years. That's the right. team is building up too. He's really he's really generating positive uh, energy there. They're they're thinking they can get a first round form. A lot of the experts really think so too. Two locations yeah. for Lincoln: the New York Rangers, and do not be yeah. surprised, the Los Angeles King. I think, think St. Louis is in that mix too, coach. Oh, uh, yeah. I but my, I'm it, talking it, about the Kings could join him because he the would cost that the price Los Angeles has those kind of price range. And yeah. the key also, we have two players here. We have to be careful. You have Lang Home for Anaheim, going to be on the market. If right. he is there, it would cost a lot and maybe stop other trade for that team. The second thing is Chink Run is really hot now. The last one came ne negotiate a lot with them with an Anaheim right now. So I believe Langholm's leave or Anaheim make a trade with Chick Run, Langholm leave. So yeah. my point is all depends after that. But Rangers will take Lickanen. Uh That's who King I think could happen there up. also. Uh, but I would not be surprised Montreal trade two times again until two Monday and maybe three if so, it could yeah, happen yeah yeah definitely. i hope so and and, uh, and of course we still have the weber contract that may or may not go right now that i mean that could be done in the summer as well yeah. but if, if i think if they can unload it and have that security i think uh, it's going to be a do it thing. now and you're right coach like uh, like the lekanen thing as teams start jumping ahead of other teams with these trades and and, and have improved their teams they're going to get more and more desperate. That's why I, I do believe if Lekkonen happens, it's going to be like, you know, an afternoon Monday deal, like right down to three o'clock deadline. Uh, somebody finally says, okay, we got to go in. Here we go. Have what you want. And, and with, with Petrie, I could, the reason why I could still see him going to St. Louis is because I, I think St. Louis was very, um, I think they were very high on on Sherratt. and from they're looking for I, a left I, defenseman. I was just said to you not that I don't see they would go right defenseman. They, the the rookie Mikola and also the third yeah. one is a left defenseman. They need more. Um, on the right, yeah. D, they are really strong over there. Spend six point two when you have Justin Falk and you have pa yeah. uh, Parico 
I don't see Petrie with the St. Louis Blues because you're right defenseman. Now, you're right. It could be somewhere where they need another LD. Uh, but I would not see the Blues with Petrie. I don't even see Petrie going by trade deadline. I think that's a summer gig. I really do. I think it's just... Yeah, too many on the market. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Pierre Martin, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us. Welcome, Pierre. Don't forget to click on the likes. If you don't mind, that'd be like awesome. <laughs> 62 people, 40 likes. We need more likes. Please, uh, please take a time to click on the likes. Uh, we're not going to talk for 10 seconds. So everybody take your phone, right? You take your phone or you take your desktop like that, right? And you screw down and then you click on the likes. And if we reach 50 likes, we're going to dance. So... Uh, <laughs> Until we don't get 50 likes, we cannot dance. I just want to mention this to you. And uh, if you never see us dancing, and our tab is really the great dancer between all the three. So uh, yeah. I just want to mention about that. And so, Mr. Roger oh, Delaney in the house. It's a great to see you employees to dance. <laughs> hey, Roger. Uh, I, Adam said, in our tab, the pressure is on ownership, McPhee and McCrimmon in Vegas. Yes or no? Pressure yeah, the on pressure is on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. But you know what? It's it's that it's the mentality there. Like they they've been all in uh, since they came into since the league. Won. And yeah. sometimes you know that initial success that they experienced at the beginning is it was a great thing. It was magical in, in Vegas, and it still is to a, a lesser degree. But when when the, the shimmers come off and and you start seeing you know the gaps that you have, you, you could come down hard and it might take a while to to build it up to where you want it to be again. Yep, um, Zef like I've said to you, um, and I'll tap. Can the Panthers afford him if we get four point five million dollars? And here we go. Oh my god, we dropped for 49 now. Oh, 50 is oh, back no. again. Oh, we cannot dance twice. We have to dance only one time, but Maybe thank you so much for the that. dancing. 50 likes on 64. That's pretty good. I appreciate a lot, everybody, to get there. I did you, and sorry, I apologize for 4.5 million dollars. What was the question again, sir? Uh, Minnesota just scored 3 2, Mr. Enotap. I just want to let there you know that. Uh, there you go. Enotap, <laughs> um, can the Panthers afford him? Shariat at 4.5. Yeah, I, I, I think they can. Um, I, don't, I don't see why not. They had some, they, they had a bit of cap space already. Plus, we're talking about next year because right now they're. They got him at 50% retained, which means Montreal's picking up, I think, maybe three, three and a half million of his contract. Yeah, 1.7. So for the, yeah, for this year, it's irrelevant. It's really yeah. if they get him re signed for four or four and a half, uh, I still think they'll, they'll fit it in. Yeah. Anthony Mazzano, first of all, thanks to join us, Mr. Anthony. Thanks. Um, he's a fan of the Flair Panthers. Coach, do you think the Frankie Fadel trade was actually to open up the cap ban, or do you think for Giroud? I think it was definitely to make some room for Sherrod as well. It's Initially, not good I enough for Vetrano uh, to get Giroud with Shari and Sh Giroud together with Sharia. So they will have to move something we don't know yet if they go right. that direction. Yeah. So, yeah. I believe was this again. Sharia was saying again to the abs next season, my dream. Do you believe do you believe he can return with Montreal? No, I, I don't I think see it. He, he may he may want to, but I, I think Ellen that would be a mistake because I think we're trying to rebuild and uh we're we have a great uh, group of uh, young defensemen that are, are definitely gonna fill in for him, and that's the direction to go. Plus you're still going to have Edmondson and possibly Savard still there as veterans. Uh, that'll is, Not good. make them, you know. Uh, well, I, I don't know if they'll get rid of Savard this year. Like, 
I hope hopefully they over the way, summer. But, <laughs> but Edmondson will definitely be there. Mr. Rajon well, Bishaw, welcome back. aboard. Don't worry about his back, though. What's that? We have to hope that his back's not too badly damaged as well because he's not, yeah. not looking quite himself yet. Uh, Raja said that, do you believe, uh, uh, will 2023 bring a better first round pick from Philadelphia for abs? Well, 2023 is a deep 2023. Yeah, we want yeah. a bet. We want that one. Will it be better than this year's? I think it'll be around the same. I don't no, see they're protecting it. better. Like you, you never know when you pick over 20 guys, you never know at that moment. Yeah. Um, I, I don't see like, wow. Um, yeah, much deep. The deep is most similar. Uh, it's just the top three bell player on 22-23 is better to 2022. So um, I don't see that. Uh, Mr. Black Ox, fan 97, welcome about. I wish the Ox would do something now. Do you expect Chicago Black Ox to uh, do something very soon? If they get the right offer, I, uh, I think they're more than willing to do something. I just think it's all about the bidding, truthfully. If the offer is right, they'll do something. I believe they will do a trade or maybe two before the end of the Monday. Yeah, I believe like Dehan, uh, I believe uh, Angel, uh, Eagle, whatever you call him, uh, could be a league, could be another one right now, really uh, someone. So you're going to see a couple of players out of Chicago in the next couple of days. Uh, we did not talk about Fleury. It could be another one over there. Yeah. <sighs> I think he's staying until next year at least. Uh, Luc Lafortune said, Bon trade for the Montreal Canadiens. Welcome, Mr. Luc Lafortune. He said, 2023 pick is the best uh, for him. So he's very happy about that. I'm so interested in the Hawks. Not a problem. You got the answer. Like a sub, Bryce Garrett. Uh, and Ota, do you think the Panthers gave up a little bit too much for Ben for basically a player who may be just a rental for the rest of the season? Definitely if he's a rental. Um, but I, I think for Florida, I mean, they're at a stage where they're all in right now, right? Um, this is this is the window of opportunity for them this year, next year, the year after, um, yeah. with the contracts that they have and the players that they have, and and this really solidifies their defensive core. From my eyes, did they give up a lot? Yeah, I mean, that's usually what happens, you know, with these trade deadline uh, deals. It's it's the the person that is selling that will make more out of it, but the buyer is gaining that one piece or two pieces that they feel will put them over the top. And yep. a possible stand like up. Yeah. <clears throat> that's what you pay usually. We show you play tomorrow in Vegas. I don't know. That's a good question. Uh well he's had he had a couple nights off now, so if I think if he'll he play leaves. if he gets there in time, yeah, yeah, because he, he loves to play, tonight. he's always ready to go. Uh, look at for instance, if you trade the cannon, he has to be a minimum first round pick, a prospect. Agree, I agree with that one. Of I agree, that. I agree. Uh, Ben, that guy's hi, Ben, that guy. Uh, Gordon going for okay. better 2023, mark my word. I hope want. so. Yeah. I hope so. But yeah. I, I mean, it'll be tough to land that a to land that number one position in the lottery and B to win the lottery. Yep. Key lab. Key lab. cats fleas the, by abs. Again, I, I don't know if it's fleeced. Uh, maybe they overpaid a little bit, but they, they you have do to do though. that. You have yeah. to do that when you, you have totally this separate. window, you have to. Uh, and then said, Pierre Lebrun said, Claude G. Abs got their first round pick on Chariot, uh, which some people did not uh, all end to get Claude Giroux. That's right. And many people were saying that they wouldn't. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Are you saying that the minimum return for the Canadian is a first and a great, great A prospect? I don't think we got both. I think that I think that's the, a B prospect. That's, and and a, a first round <laughs> yeah i think that that's the the uh, price that gordon should hold for him especially i still believe closer. i still believe yeah they get a first round pick and they will get a, a prospect 
I will tell you why. Yeah. If example is the top best five team, it's almost like a second round pick they get in return. So right. if he was a 19, 18, 22, 23 max, now I will go with prospect B. But because it's a late, late first round pick, I still believe yeah. it's going to be a prospect B. Uh, a and a with the with number first or the first round, I still believe they go there because again they don't have to trade Lekanen. It's right. not like they have to. They losing him at the end of the season. That's the two conversation. And if they want Lekanen, you pay the price. If not, have a good day. Uh, who, who yeah, the word is too. They're really they're really trying to uh, put trying to make a move on uh, Hoffman. They're really trying to work getting him out. Pittsburgh looking for him, or maybe Cassell yeah. with Pittsburgh. Yeah. How about with um, uh, Lekkonen? Where do you see him possibly landing? New Ooh. York Rangers. Lekkonen. Rangers. I, I still believe the New York Rangers is the one over there. I still believe yeah. the Kings could be another one over there. Uh, but the Kings would not pay that price because they don't, they don't need to be all the way to the end. Uh, a team like Carolina, maybe not Carolina, but a team like Carolina at the top could join a Likanen at some point. But I see, if you look about everybody at the top, they have maybe Minnesota, uh, but again, now Minnesota could go that way. First round pick and make Bean and return for Likanen. That could happen. That would be good. That could happen. So yeah. who that knows, right? We're talking and we don't know what could happen. Uh, Pierre Martin said Gallagher, Dwayne Petrie, Kulak, make a forest cell. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> we'll see it and see what it could those like. Names, those I'll be honest names with right you. There. I'll be honest with you. The way to talk, Martin said we love Brendan Gallagher. Yeah, but I think he understands he is he doesn't have the legs anymore. Every time he talk, it's all about pussy with Brendan Gallagher. The details, what he does, what he brings, his leadership, how he talk in the locker room. Every time you listen, Martin Saint Louis is always perceived. It's exactly how he talked to him, Gallagher. He does the same thing with Cole Caulfield. Like today, he said he I have a shot like Stephen Stenkos. Yeah, I think we're stuck with Gallagher that. anyway. I don't think he's going anywhere. No one's touching that contract. Yeah, but again, I just want to you know about that one there. Uh, now it's a wild score, three two, Mister Inotap. Um, Jesus, oh, I should do it tonight. I, I would be mad at myself tonight. I hit the light before the odd. It's all done. Wish I don't skip the coach. Get the skill shot. Thank you so much, Caleb. I Kelly Lou look good last night. Uh, next year, Montreal defense would be weak. So many a shot at better. It's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. Yeah, I mean, I don't anticipate them rising too much. Although they 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 will rise in the standings. Like we have to figure this is this was a bit of a. Uh, but I have an answer for Le with Le Tank will be fine. <laughs> yes, if we can get him, yes, we'd be fine. But I think if we don't, truthfully, I think we seen it last night. The difference of not having. I'll be honest with you. We're not going to be no. worse what we are today with or without Sharia. Because now you have Kerry Price in the net. I disagree. I disagree. So I think, with I the think goaltender you have, you in, you're increasing your you better weight between the pipe versus the defenseman over there. I'm telling you now, Ben Chariot is a defenseman number four at three in NHL. Yeah. He's not number one. He's yeah. not number two. Not Montreal. He was number it, one in Montreal when once Shea Weber went down. But again, it's not the guys where is Kerry on the team. I believe me, a Shoneman, come enough and prove you're not going to miss 40% of Sharia. You're going to be, be, maybe 20. But the carry price in the net versus year. Montembo uh, with Primo, know. you are a better team. So for me, to say that because you're going to miss Sharia, we're going to be worse. That's I right. don't see that. So, But it, even, I, if, I, even I, if Price doesn't play, having uh, Allen there for the... Uh, as your number one is already a, a giant improvement over what we had this year with yeah. Montalbone and and uh, uh primo and then hammond like right now it's patchwork like we've we've had guys that have been pretty much out of the lineup all year like hoffman 
Dvorak, uh, Druen. Like if those guys are just healthy next year, I'm talking there's there's 15 to 20 points in the standings right there, just with those four guys. Yeah, I agree with you about that one. That. You're not going to get that out of Jonathan Drouin, though. You're not going to get consistency. He'll help you put in 10 against us. Capri Savi <laughs> just get cooked by McEnvoy. What's that? Uh, Capri Savi just get cooked by McEnvoy. It's Rafe is called a Minnesota Boston tonight. Well, <laughs> that goes back to their first match. Yep. Yeah, it does. That hit. That hit to the head, I think it was. Uh, uh, Jeffrey Halter, welcome aboard, Jeffrey. I don't think he's the first time, but if you are, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us. Uh, the, the next time we dance is at 75. So, um, <laughs> us, like, we, we, we need a pose at some point, but until then, we need uh, 16 more. So, again, guys, you can relax. Um, but again, Jeffrey said, uh, do the ad trade Devarak and Gallagher. Not Dvorak. Did they get the offer? They get. They're they, they're not going to get get rid of Gallagher because no one's touching that contract. Dvorak, there's a possibility. There's a possibility. I can see teams being interested. Just yeah, I can see him being interested, but I, I I think Montreal will hang on to Dvorak. He he has one really more year. Give shot. him a chance. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, he, he comes at a good yeah. way, a good salary. Uh, totally, he's agree. a dec- He's a decent, you know. 50, he's a good 60 point he's a better yeah. player what people uh, think he, he is yes yes he is i don't think he's right. been given and a fair shake and, with that and he shouldn't be he shouldn't be on your number one line either now and then no. sir, Renaud Lavoie report that the app would like to trade devil rack before the trade deadline on monday whether it can be happen or not hopefully he get into a couple of games to boost his value i hope well, he doesn't go okay but i know there's there's talk for sure how about we send them to Arizona and get a first? Yeah, get our first and third back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be happy with just the first. How's that? I want the first and the third back. That was a not a good. <laughs> well, it goes back to KK, so I, I think it was a good trade off. Yeah, but, but we won't be saying that if the Canes win the Stanley Cup. <laughs> I'm surprised they go to trade the Vorak. Me too. Yeah, I know. Me too. Uh, Me too. I uh, don't trade the Warrack, but move Gallagher, Drouin, and Petrice from Renault. Uh, ben the guy said that uh, Jared Slav- uh, Slavowski will be picked by the Habs 2022, but out 2020. That's Golden Plan. Watch and learn. Um, I hope you're right, Ben. I, I like hope that. you are Bring too. Me too. <laughs> uh, Steve, bonsoir. Steve G, welcome. Oh, we never talk about this. We can go on the stock now uh, when we do the dance. That's a good point, Robert. We didn't ever talk about this. We should go on the TikTok now. Uh, Bryce Garrett, Valamov to the leave. Uh, uh, we'll see what happened. Uh, future Ab Shane Wright, uh, one goal, one assist tonight. He considered to roll uh, night after night. Then he said, uh, Mr. Notap. 4-1 Columbus. Anyway. Okay, coach. You were uh, right. the first pick for the ad, but now first pick 2022. <laughs> watch and learn. Uh, Pierre Martin, uh, Savard equal weighs the money. Um, you can talk about Mac Giroux. Has Claude Giroux been moved yet? No. Until we show up tonight late. Uh, about that one of them. Double Y Finn. Uh, welcome aboard. Welcome. Uh, we never, we never talk really about this. What do you feel about Frank Venetro trade to the New York Rangers? I think that was great for the Rangers. Are you kidding? Uh, it, all, all they gave up was a fourth. Yeah, quite a steal. Yeah, I think so. I agree with Me you. Me too. Yeah. Um, gives, them, gives them some scoring as well, some secondary scoring. Yeah. Anthony Manzano said, um, where do you guys think the defenseman from the Columbus Blue Jacket is going to land? Uh, from Columbus, which one are we talking about? I don't know which one he's thinking about because now Wawrinski, it's not uh, Bovis. It's not uh, 
quand Krivnov, au crack Krivnov, yeah. it's not uh, been, been, uh, I don't know. I think the one over there they were talking was about Max Domi. The, the goaltender, Kopisalu, was really the two one in my eyes, on my head yeah. right now. I'm thinking, if you know the name, Anthony, let us know. I don't see this. Uh, first fort and the descent prospects some to hide to me in our tap. For Montreal Canadiens, a, a fourth and a, a decent prospect seems too high, too high for Florida. Florida? Yeah, I, I, again, I I agree with that. I, I think it, we got more than what Sherratt is actually worth. But just going back to what we were saying before, it, it's it's just a matter of supply and demand at this point. They want. Uh, and and definitely, I think it's a good thing for Florida to have Sherrod. He fits in perfectly. And, yeah. you know, it comes to trade deadline time. You have to pay up for that. Happens every year that you have to pay a price if you want to get closer to the Stanley Cup. It's We're seeing this every year. So it's nothing yeah. out of the ordinary. Yep. Um, Johnny said the only chance we get better out is with our own pick. Renaud said, yeah. they come into the Bruins. Uh, I'd hate to see that. <laughs> I'd hate to see that. But, the but Bruins, hey, they got the right offer. Right? But the Bruins are not always gave the first round pick. They are really cautioned them. Yeah. They are. They are. Not only that, I, I just I, don't see him fitting into that mold in, the, in um, New York. Boston. He looks good for New York. Yeah. Uh, Ellen said, good uh, news, not going to trade Lekanen. And like I said to them, it's no good to trade him. It's just if they get something solid in return, that's the clean go. Look at Francis and Calgary, good move for them. Yeah. Uh, where is Mike Andre Fleury is going? I think he's staying <laughs> in Chicago. He might, yeah, he might very well. If, if he does move at all, Obviously. it'll probably be one, one of those last minute deals. I still believe Chris Bush should make the move. Oh, I still think, think Vegas should make the move. Oh, they need him. They need him. Yeah. Yeah. Pittsburgh, I don't see. I just, I don't know. With, with all the, why? The way it, 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 it finished off there. Uh, but the Leafs could use Vegas. 10 of them, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Looking good. The light shot, just like Mel Moore. Thank you. Uh, Brendan is the best of the lot, I suggest. Uh, do you think that I would get go after Chris Letank? I hope so. Season, I think they might, yeah. If the price is right. But I think Letang is looking for about three years at least. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, the only way Letang can go in Montreal is if he does not negotiate or the, the negotiations are not good with the Pittsburgh Penguin. That's it. Yeah, you yeah. know, his first choice, Pittsburgh, he will work there or not. That's it. Yeah. So I don't see about that one over there. They do they do have to create some space though, Pittsburgh. Because oh, they have a, they have Brendan Ross, they have uh right. Malkin and Le Tank. Malkin. Right. So you know, I, I think could, one I of could those, see one of those will be good. Malcolm in the near future. I could see them dumping Malcolm eventually eventually. In a year or two. Yeah. Uh, look, Gallagher, AV contract, so is Petri. Uh, oh, yeah. Look, he, he, he does not believe I get the tank. Uh, will Patrice Bergeron sign with the Abs next year? I'd love I it. I hope so. I'd uh, love it. I'd have a party. We'd all be uh, over to the coaches and in the bar and in the saloon with the tequila. Bergeron said he will never go nowhere. He signed with Pastor and he's done. he's done. That's it. Ah, uh, you never know. Uh, I, right now, I, Patrice I Bergeron will never go to Montreal. It was still I'm with the Boston saying, Bruins. I'm, wish, I'm just dreaming, that's all, you know. All right, <laughs> but I understand, but I just want to let you know. Uh, <laughs> Kelly, question for all of you. Is Shaya a better defenseman than Riley? Than Riley? They're totally different types of defensemen. Very different. Uh, first, Yeah, and Riley's younger. I mean... Uh, I, I'd sooner have a Riley in terms of offensive uh hey, You cannot compare Ben Chariot with Morgan Riley. Yeah, they're no. totally different. I mean, one's a... Well, my point is like, he, he, it's not like 
It cannot be better to Morgan Riley. No, no, no. Which is, I'd rather yeah, no, have I mean, Riley's. But I mean, saying. I was quite happy when I watched him bounce at Austin Matthews in the playoffs last year. He did such a wonderful job on him. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But my point is, like, I would take my Morgan Riley five times before I get Ben Sherry up. Oh, of course, of course. You, you talk about you're going to see now a power play works in Montreal. No one will will want the, the answer as a sixth round pick. Yeah, possible about that one over there. Blackhawk, why would you price want to come back with his defense crew? Exactly. <laughs> I, I still I don't believe why they would bring Carey Price for the rest of the year. I don't see that. I don't know. I don't know I unless he's I asking think... for a, a show just to get teams interested. That's the only way I can see it. Because other than that, it makes no sense. I don't see more than about three to five games that he, he would yeah. play. And it's strictly for the per like they've had this conversation with Price Gordon, so yeah. between the two of them, they already know what's happening. Like Price is either saying, "Look, I want out," and if that's yeah. the case, then they need to showcase him. Not because is he good or is he bad? He's good, but does is the health back? Right? right. Is he healthy again? Right. Because then during the summer they will move him. They will, and and you will get a good return for price if people see that he's healthy. I I don't see teams taking a chance. Look look how long it took to do the Eichel deal. Is he healthy? Is he not healthy? Will this operation work or not work? Imagine if he had had the operation with Buffalo and he had played five or six games and they saw that he's flying out there, no problems. That you would have had more than just Vegas jump in there for his services. For sure. And I think the same thing sure. will happen with Price. If he leaves, many people want to send Dwayne out. So yes. want to let you know. Yeah, of course, yes. of course. See, of course. I pay half of the Petrol remaining contract years with another team buy. Yes, it would be a bad move by the Montreal Canadiens holding three million dollars per year for the next three years. You have uh, no players, but you stuck with three million dollars. Well, that's why they'll bite the other teams. I think yeah. it's a no-brainer. No, no, for Montreal, it's not good to keep $3 million. It's not good, no. No, but the question was, do you think other oh, teams yeah, yeah, yeah. bite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think other teams would bite. In the offseason. Adam Ross, welcome aboard. Thanks for us. Is it better to we got a first round 2023 at 2022? Yes. Why? I just like what I've heard from... From every every one of the insiders, and Bob Bob McKenzie, who I hold a high regard for, has even said that the twenty three draft uh, depth is much stronger through it. I mean, so that just went for two. But um, I would say to you, twenty twenty three. Honestly, I would say one reason: Montreal in our tab, I already have a first round pick between twenty four to thirty two this year. To add one more t there, I, I prefer to balance next year. So you have a two and two, and then you have one where Montreal is going to be, and then one at the bottom. So I think for it's another advantage to go that one over there, uh, to go Wouldn't that one nice over there. Though, to have three first rounds, or three or four first rounds, and be able to say, hey, whoever gets Bedard, here, let's, let's, let's make a deal. <laughs> yeah, right. it's not going to happen that way. Uh, 63, we're missing uh, 12 to get 75, by the way. Uh, Shoneman has been a pleasant surprise on D for Montreal. What do you guys think? Agreed. Love him. Agreed. Love him. It's my fourth yeah. star of the, um, not, not the year, but it's my first, my first, my fourth star right now. Uh, I agree. Every time he play, I think his only his first game, uh, he, he, he struggled, a lot like a veteran. and I believe because he was playing on the right D. Secondly, he was a three, a four game and five yeah. night came from, from Laval, and but after that, um, really his good composure. about that one. His composure blows me away. Uh, do you guys trade Drouin for a first round, a four round pick? I give Drouin away, but yes, I'll take the fourth uh, round. Yeah, I'd, I'd like a little bit higher than that. I don't. I think you don't want higher. I take it. I no, take I it. Don't, I don't. I don't trade the one. No, oh, I you do. don't trade. 
Last week, this week, next week, next year, I trade him over and over. He's a $5 million. You can keep him for one more year, become a UF free next year. Under Bad Martin St. Louis, under Martin St. Louis, this players get about 60 points. St. Louis ain't Jesus Christ. I'm telling you right now, uh, <laughs> nobody with Cole Caulfield, nobody said one go, look what he does with go. Send Cole's everybody with Martin St. Louis, with everybody, everybody increasing the offensive point and every one of them. He will not fix Jonathan Joanne, and I'd put big money on that. I'm, I'm just sad. Martin, he was going to have, before he got weeks, hurt, that would last. before that he would got last hurt, he weeks. was the best player for Montreal with the ski with the most point with Montreal. Uh, yeah, that's it's, points. But, but points again, you know he what? wasn't so good. You know what, Coach? I, I, I kind of agree with Andrew because it's, it's not about the point production. Yes, it's great to have a player that's going to put up 60, 65 points for you. I don't doubt that. But it's just that we seem to be hit, giving this guy a mulligan every single year from every the time. year he got traded. Okay, well, yep. this year it's because the pressure of being in Montreal. And this year it's because he was concussed. And this year it's because of this or that. Like It comes to a point where you see that this guy, when the going gets tough, he disappears. It's and gone. for me, I, I'd rather have somebody that gives me 40, 45 points, but plays tough all the time than a guy that gives me 60 points, but is going to disappear when we need him the most. My point is because he never played under Martin St. Louis yet. My second thing I he's done with, he him. is done after that. He's over. He become UF free after that. So he's done. The poison that I'd he's rather done after that. So fit. what you do, you keep him next season. And then after that, you trade him as a trade that line and you get a pick or a pick about that one over there at just let him go with no, with nothing in return. Yeah, but don't I don't like the influence more? on the players. I don't like the influence he has on the players. You're risking the youngsters. And trust me, if if, if uh, Stevie Y couldn't get him in shape, nobody has been able to work. I used to love Jonathan Drouin in Halifax. I thought he was going to really be something. And then I've seen the total difference in him. But I didn't. I also had to put it together. Nathan McKinnon made him in Halifax. So and not only that, I th I think I think you stand a better chance of getting rid of him this year because he has one more year under his contract, so a team might bite. Then next yeah. year, where he's going to be a UFA, so people are going to say, oh, "I'll give you a sixth or a seventh, and and that's it." He's I, got I the talent. He, I don't. Disagree. He has more value for you now to get rid of him, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going on tonight, but everybody's corner, fight tonight. Right? In the he might be looking game? for flowers next year. Yeah. Uh, is this the moment for Sandwich we start to say, oh, I see what we are talking about. Will Sandwich be the first coach in the Abbey story? Can we believe in regardless of bad standing? It's not Martin Sandwich character. Can I see the question again? I, I couldn't either. I can't see it on my phone. Is this the moment St. Louis starts to say, oh, I see what they're all talking about? Can you read that out under that? I, no, it's not. It, yeah, I agree. It's not in his character. I, I think... I think St. Louis would do this job for free. Like, I don't think it's yeah. about money with him. Uh, I think it's about... Yet again, people are coming out saying, you know what, what kind of experience do you have? What right do you have being a coach? And this guy oh, has made that his sole mission to yeah, prove phenomenal. them wrong, just like when he was a hockey player. Yeah. Yep. Uh, who is the player that got, I've got sh Shariat trait any good? Yeah, we talked about... Um, Dice, the player. Dice Malenik. Yeah. I mean, it's more the draft pick that we wanted. Uh, yeah. More than uh, anything. He may work out uh, to be good. I mean, he's a centerman. He's got size. Uh, he should bulk up a little bit more. Uh, you know, you put him in the right chair, maybe he'll he'll be a, a you know, a second, third line centerman. Who knows? Uh, but the, the real get there was the uh, pick. 
Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, it will take to him two years before he really don't know what is his value uh, and the American Hockey League, everything like that. I don't know yet. He didn't have no contract yet at Florida, so he may be return, return one more year with Kenneth, uh, Quinnipiac and go from there about that, uh, Roger. So uh, center, 6'1", 175, born in Colorado, uh, 74 overall pick, third round pick by the Florida Panthers. Um, 13, 14 goal for the last two years in the college. That's what he got. Silly question, uh, Franco, sorry, but Montreal has done nothing but win with Martin St. Louis. Uh, Florida is all in. Johnny Golden said, uh, use the stocking to measure at 10 o'clock tomorrow. What time are you on tomorrow? Coach, 12 o'clock. Um, I like the trade. We receive a lot in return. We all agree with that one over there. Uh, Alan, about that. Welcome aboard, Mr. Alan Vaillancourt and also um, Randy Hen. And Randy. He's Coach, really uh, happy about Coach, his. Sorry. I, I just wanted to ask uh, uh, the gentleman we got, uh, Henneman. Is he a centerman or a winger? Which one? Henneman that we got from Calgary for Toffoli. Oh, he's a winger. He's a winger. Okay. Yep. Yep. I think he's a left winger. Yeah. Well, he, he played both, both positions, but uh, right now we play, play winger over there. Okay. Uh, he's really happy about his pick over there. Joe Henson, Joshua, welcome aboard. Uh, they were like the top 10 protected this year. Does Arizona get abs first next year, no matter where? No. No, no. It's only one pick, uh, uh, Joshua, so he get only uh, this year. If Montreal finished 20, 22nd, I believe, or 21st, the pick go to Arizona and Montreal pick up the Carolina pick at the end. If now, if Montreal f finish at the at the top of the 10, now they keep their pick and the Carolina pick they have go to Arizona only for 2022. That's it. Yeah, nothing else for the final year about that one over there. Uh, Asturi is a very good player, Pierre Martin said. Uh, long, long to want to renew the have with Saint Martin and we for. Um, yes, he should sign a contract with that. If Allen start, will Primo be sent down to Laval? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Randy N. Randy N. said Letang is too old. Mm, he's still got a couple of years in him. He's, he's still got gas in the tank. Yeah. He can he help play, these kids. He said play 26 minutes per game. Exactly. exactly. And produces and is a power play specialist. Look at for since uh, Fleury, Fleury finished the year and he retired. I, I'm not sure about the retiring part. Uh, I'm hearing that he's going to try to maybe explore the free agency market because he has intentions of going somewhere in particular. I don't know where, to be honest with you, but uh, he can make more on the um, on the free agency than he he can right now. Robert That's Allen said, Mac Andrew Fleury, reincarnation of Jacques Plant. No. See? Can we trade Devo Rack, Randy N? So, yes or no? I, I, give, it, I give him a year. Yeah, I, if the question is, can we trade him? Uh, like, I, I'm not sure what the intent behind that question is, but yeah, of course, if the price is right, uh, he's gone. Uh, I don't think they'll, they'll hesitate. But should they trade him? I don't know. I agree we should give him another year. I agree with you all about that. An argument can be made that Carey Pride is the best goalie in Montreal history, but him and the net or any other cup winning team, and we will probably have an ever better number. Yeah. He's a, super, a lot of good For me, when I, when I talk Carey Price, I always said, I don't know he's better. Only thing I know, he's a super elite goaltender. That's one thing yeah. I know. That, that's it. You know what I mean? Like, I because is, of him, but, whatever he is, whatever he would be, he's going to be always a super elite. And uh, yeah. the history never, you know, we cannot recreate, uh, re rewrite the history, but what we know him for me is going to be uh, a super elite goaltender at any other level for me. Whatever he wins, yeah. will not win. Yeah, he yeah definitely. no, definitely. He's, he's always been a winner wherever he's been at, but... Uh, I think the, the question is, if he was on a, a much stronger team over the years, his numbers would be much better. 
I mean, just look oh, at him sure. when he when he played for Team Canada. He played, I think, six, seven games and allowed two goals. Yeah. You know, uh, I mean, I know that's not the norm. I mean, that's Team Canada, of course, but still, he if he were on a team that's anywhere near as strong as that, like this guy would probably be the leaders in shutouts and save percentage. And more the pressure is higher, better he perform, usually. Yeah. And I think he'd have a few cups if, if he was on a stronger club. Uh, Johnny Goody said, how did you like Caulfield to go? One from the left wing, one for the right sniper. Uh, to watch him, he's, th he's 32 goals last season, or 34. Uh, he scored most of them on the left side uh, on his four on the four hands. Uh, about that. But the second goal, guys, top shelf. Beautiful. It was unbelievable. Oh, yeah. It was the, the Guy Lafleur style. Um, I can record it about that one of them. Well, even yeah. even the overtime goal that he scored the night before, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was really a little flare look. <laughs> yeah. And Mark Linkovich, uh, welcome aboard. First time a part of the show. Thanks to join us, Mark. Uh, uh, the one for a hot dog and a bag of chip. Yeah. <laughs> only, if with that. only if they're jalapenos from Miss Vix. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, Nicolas, j'ai une pratique vendredi. Félicitations. Uh, Pierre Martin, Raymond Book left Boston for the cup. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. It's France is Raymond Book did not have any cup. Patrice Bergeron right. have one cup. And exactly. now the one for the Gauss coupon for somebody. Uh, he's going to be rich, uh, uh, Johnny. Uh, Jonathan, he's getting his coupon. He get hot dog. He get chips. <laughs> Um, you have to watch, you have to go to the gym. If not, he's going to be big like uh, the muffin. Mathieu, we got a picture last week from in our top. I said, what was better than uh, Price, uh, Roger Bouchard said. Who was better? Uh, Who? Uh, Patrick, Patrick Roy, was better than I would say to you, yes, for one reason. Different time. I would say one reason, because Patrick Roy won the Stanley Cup, and he did it. He proved it. Uh, four times, it, it, yeah. you know what I mean. So for me, a little and bit better. He have a lot of again, you know what I mean. One of the top best five goaltender in NHL. Uh, but again, I will say to you, Carey Price is a super elite goaltender, and that's yes. it. And he have a ton, a many, a some, a right? And but that's where he is. So yeah, yeah. But they will go to re I reflect mean, like and put him on those teams. And I, I will give you an example, right? Uh, Pika Rini, Enric Lundqvist. Yeah. yeah. they always yeah. been the same number, but they never win all, all the way. But they was a great goaltender in the NHL. So. Yeah. Ça va finir très bientôt, mon Nicola. 1-0 Calgary, uh, New Jersey. 1-1. Yeah. Now 1-1 one, one, Tampa Bay Shuttle and 1-0 Calgary. Uh, because yeah. we are behind, remember. <laughs> um, what was always my favorite, but probably was the god of my area, Adam Ross. Uh, about that, the one Montana State, not too bad. Calgary 1 0, Danny said. Uh, Andrew, what do you do as the owners of in Vegas with the upper management? <laughs> what do I do with upper management in Vegas? Yeah, it's, uh, you know what? I have to be honest, though. Um, this year has been such an injury-prone season for them. I honestly think, yeah, there, there's going to be eyeballs on them, for sure. But I say you watch next year if they can come out healthy with the addition of Eichel. I think next year they're going to be dangerous. Uh, so do you give it a year, or do you start making changes? Uh you know, for me, I would wait till next year and see how this plays out and then see how they roll when they're healthy. One thing that we know, they have a lot of big decisions to take. Yes. Uh, the one does not want to play hockey from Alain Vianco. Go Flame, oh. go uh, from Pierre Martin. Uh, could you see Price going to LHL level or conditioning? Yes. It's seven days. And he would yeah, go there yeah. like he did last season and yeah. come back after that. But you you think cannot so? send Price. Yes, Pierre, you can send Carey Price uh, yeah. as a conditioning. Oh, yeah, 
Uh, that's it. It's seven days. They come back. Uh, they send Orlando this year. Uh, you know, he, he, can re- he, he can come back three days after that, but he, right. he can be a max of seven days. Yeah, if it's at but the don't you think, the coach, Madrid, that that uh, yeah. kind of uh, do you do you see it the same way we're seeing it as far as it kind of looks weird that they're letting him go ahead with it? Kind of makes it look like he's gearing up to showcase himself. What do you think? I don't see that. No, really? it's like someone t- someone told me, "Hey, we 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 scout Mac Andre Fleury." Jeez. He, he, he he's a uh, 17 years in NHL have 300 winning goal. Why you scout him? Yeah, but look at his injury. It's kept him out the whole year. Yeah. That's no, no. My point like, to you is like you don't have guard. to be scout to 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 watch your players. You know what Carey Price is like, Mac Andre Fleury. The only oh, thing yeah. you have to do when the conditioning will be done, you go Laval, and that's it. But again, if you do Carey Price back in the lineup. Are you going to lose Pitlick? Are you going to lose Joel Armia? You have to open $10 million when you put Price back in the lineup. For five games, is it worth it? No. No, it's not worth it. No. 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 That's what but, I'm concerned. Why, why they would We don't know what the cap will be at that point, yeah. right? I mean, all they have to do is say, uh, Byron, oh, LTR, I'm not feeling well. Uh, you but he cannot do that. Honestly, they cannot do that. Take a chance with Armia. Uh, all, all you have to say is put him on a waiver. Concussion. See if somebody it's wants to pick him up. Based, and there's no way that they can prove otherwise. But my point is, like they have opened up ten million dollars anyway, and whatever they do this for mm, for three game, four game, it's he's not, not going it. to go back to back game. He's not going to go like three game or the four game per week. Um, yeah, I. I I see that, Coach, but I, I just don't see what the reasoning behind bringing him back. I think that's what Andrew was trying to say. Like, yeah, uh, why not pack it in? We'll worry about yeah. this over the summer. Uh, why why this rush all of a sudden? You postponed them from, uh, you know, two weeks into the season to Christmas to March, yeah. and, and, and now all of a sudden we have a rush to bring him in? There's got to be a, a, a reason behind that. I want to bring back, like you said. Yeah. Uh, Danny, yes, the Wild beat the Boston. That's a good news for Toronto. (laughs) Uh, Andrew, oh, no punch uh, about that. Coach, I would love to see Forsberg and Vegas as a goalie. The the one from Ottawa. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, that would help. I, I think some like Toronto it. and Moncton, they go to yeah. about him over there. Uh, Danny, I just need Tampa and Calgary to win. I feel like Drouin lost the team. He was not there for the playoff. I, but maybe. Yeah, uh, I hate to say it. Jonathan Drouin was is a nice kid. Don't get me wrong; he's a very nice person. I'm not trying to attack his character. As far as his playing. The game is mental in the game. He just plays when he wants to. And that's where I criticize him is he just does not put it on the line. And I have seen his talent up close many times. He is super talented. But unfortunately, his head's not in it and his heart's not in it. Uh, Alex Iliev said, Martin St. Louis is an offensive player. An offensive coach. Yeah. Well, as Julien Duchamp, our defensive coach, as the Drouin 26 before the injury, as 50 50 point season with Julien, so 60 points could be possible with Martin Saint Louis. I'll say for it both again. of you, but again, Alex, for both of them, they said Drouin 60 points not good enough. We better to play with someone at 30 points and yeah. to go that one. Yeah, because I don't want the 40 goals I'm going to get against me with him there. I would prefer to play with 60 point. Can and give 40 me, again. Can give me 30 goals next more. At a guy cannot only, like, I would take Dwayne his offensive, bring his power play, bring more his offensive side of the game. At a guy play only four line for me. 
I know what you're saying, but I'd rather have a guy with heart, and that's giving you a hundred. Like I'd, I'll take a Lekin in any day of the week over a Jonathan Durant. Like I say, for the damage he does in my back end because he doesn't want to put out the effort, and when he wants to hide in the closet and go, oh, I'm injured for a month or two. Sorry, you're just not worth it. Stevie Y knew why he was getting rid of him, and I totally agree with him. Yep, possible. Everybody's going to talk about Dwayne, so we're going to jump in more. Uh, Montreal banking on the draft pick, but still have no, uh, but you have to still draft right. Very much so. Yeah. Uh, Jordan so. said, I still have nightmare about the circuit chef trait. Yes, me too. Of course. <laughs> Yeah. Imagine Even we have circuit night. seven and now I have a left defenseman. <laughs> yeah. Even last night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, uh, Franco, um, he said, huge miscommunication. My question was more about a huge shift in an abs culture where regardless of losing, we go all, um, we go all in with a coach personality. It got nothing to do with the dollars. Now you got, you have to write Frank, Franco. Uh, yeah. about that one there. Um, it's all about the mindset, the belief, the trust, as a team effort, play together, and right. you can see right away the chin behind the bench. Uh, you can see how he talked behind the bench, how he talked uh, his, how he talk with everybody, but also how he walk, how he talk at the press conference. He's always pushed up. He never see nothing there. It's always, every word he said, you believe wow. him. With Trump, wow. it was... It was like a, a up and down. You never know what Sean would tell you. So he absolutely right about that, Franco. We apologize the way we read your question, but the way you explain to us now, you absolutely right about that one there. I didn't say and three years the app with defense would be Gailey, Mayu, Nolander, Romanov. Yeah. Yeah. No. Gail uh, uh, Gulli, Mayu, Norris, Aris. And coming up, Norlander, I'm so scared. We we'll never make it. I am too. I am too. Norlander hasn't sold me yet because he hasn't. Uh, he's a little fragile. Two concussion this nothing. year. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're looking at health. I thought we're looking at a skill set. I mean, he, he's the one that impressed the most in the pre uh, preseason camp of all the in preseason that we but had. Yeah. But in the season, and even coolly. I mean, he was here for 10 games. He didn't perform poorly. Oh, my my point like, is oh. like, is so, so. just the concussion, the way he prone. Right now, he does not play over there in Sweden. Well, That's a big concern about that one over there. Play 14 minutes yeah. per game. Um, I just said that Wasn't for me. Muppet, it's a concern. I don't say he does not. You have a talent. The kid can play on offensive side, can carry on the park. You have a great... You, He's not like Markov, but he have a style like Markov. Does right, that make right, sense? Like right. he's not like yeah. Markov, but it's the the way play it was it's a little bit what Markov was doing with Montreal. You have a great vision, <laughs> the pass is on the play, on the tape all the time. Uh but again, it is a injury could be a problem with him, a little bit like uh, Bowen Byron with the Colorado Avalanche right now. But you're absolutely right about that. Defense a little bit. And on his own end, it's the only thing I think he needs to do. Yeah, concussions are always... Uh, Now, more, more, more like Jordan talk about Sergeyev, more I'm get upset. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> see, we all missed on that. John, I would, I would like to see uh, Deva Rack on the MLS. He's a much more better player than he shows so far. Me, I agree with him about Johnny. Yeah. He's a better hockey player. Now, we'll see what he looks like. I think Pusilay carry a spray but plant and Rua have their own specialty. I I agree with you. I agree with you about that one. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. all they're all different styles, but uh again, don't don't uh, exclude Ken Dryden. Um Simlalek Smilanik makes sense for the ad. Asking for Tipe would probably take a first round pick at table. Yeah, a right. lot of talk I, I heard today on the social media by the expert, like many of them, like, you know, Baudouin, where people follow Montreal. It was again to get Dave Tippett, Owen Tippett. Yeah, I heard a lot of that too. I just want to share with you about that. I heard that too. 
You're right. Yeah. Yeah. And now, and then I just put more sauce and the soup. He said uh, we should never treat Sokachev. I agree. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. That was that's why, that was well, that's why I'm so upset. Mistakes he made. <laughs> Randy yeah. Ends, uh, currently we have two first round there in 2022 and 2023. Yeah, so right. Uh, uh, Danny, I just want a number five from Seattle or Subban to the leave. Uh, all right. Uh, coach, I would love to see Forsberg in Vegas come as a goaltender. I think it would be great. Like, I think he have a, a lot of upside down. As, as we just talk about Arizona player and the past two years and all of the talk about how good they are play for Wizards Arizona, but I have been miserable with other team. Can anyone think of to trade Coyotes? To trade I, I, You know what? They, they got some good-looking players on that team. They really do. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Like, yeah. They, they've been showing it over the last uh, three or four weeks for sure, but uh, they, they have a good I, nucleus there. They have good management that is, is approaching the rebuild in the proper way with patience by creating the proper culture there. Um, yeah. They have to – I mean, they can't control things like the arena right now. Uh, those are things that are going to have to get settled some way in some form, but um, definitely they're on the right track, I think. I think so, too. I take that goalie and, uh, and Smoltz. I, I love that Smoltz kid. So we I went from 1-0 to 1-1. To one, one. Now it's 2-1 Calgary. We're getting there. We we dropped down. We were about uh, 10 minutes. Uh, the fourth ARD pick uh, Montreal received and the Chariot trade is the same pick uh, Florida received early today for the New York yeah. and return yeah. for Frank Van Der Van Der Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Luke Lafosin said Vegas are done. Uh, it's still show 1-1. One, one, Big Bing for Kulak and a third. Michael Desarmo, welcome aboard. Welcome, Michael. Hey, Michael. I still, uh, I still think Kulak could could get us a second. Now I know he's probably a third or fourth in normal times, but where you're right at the trade deadline, I think he could get us a second. No, because now he said make Bain for Kulak and the third for the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, no, I know. I I don't like that. I wouldn't do it. I, no. I would not be worried. I would tell you why, because I have four, three pick third round pick this year. I have three now or two more for Ford. And Kulak for me, if make 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 Bain, if that's the cost I need and we believe in make Bain, I would not be I would be surprised. I would not be uh, or against that trait. Well, you know, you're on to something because uh, from what Hughes and Gordon, they have a lot of uh, admiration for this kid. So you, you're probably on to something there. Uh, Patrick, what was the best goalie in the art history? Here we go. Manuel and Manny Suarez, welcome aboard. Um, uh, for the good luck and the playoff, guys go, cats go. Uh, Montembo need a conditioning sting in Laval, not looking sharp uh, in the end. Uh, he was going to be there very soon. Two one price, just want to show he can please stop with the trading remark, make me upset. Uh, well, I, I don't think anybody's trying to trade him. Uh, we're just trying to speculate here, given the fact that why would Montreal take a chance with his health it. and play him for three or four games? There's yeah. no reason behind that. All, all I right. was saying, uh, Ellen, behind that was if, if they're going to do that, there has to be a reason. They're not just doing it, well, you know, just get out there. We need to win three or four games. So I'm thinking, and again, it's just speculation. I could be 100% wrong that they might be showcasing him because he may have told Gordon something like, I will not be returning next year or I want to be traded at the end of this year. And if that's the case, there's going to be teams there to say that are going to say, well, I, I need to see the, him play and make sure that he's healthy before I take a chance on, on uh, trading for him. That's, that's all I was saying. Yeah. Totally agree. Uh, Danny, uh, and then Michel Desormeaux said 31 this year, maybe 22nd next year. I don't know for next year, but the 31 this year, yes. Uh, next year, you never know what could happen, right? Year after year, but 
Price yeah, playing Weber hurt, game, so I'm hurt. So last respect about this guy. Um, bonne nuit, Monica. Uh, two one. Uh, and after we do all acting like uh, my pet tonight, she's upset about that. Uh, Price to get a deed for McBean. Gerard Tremblay. Uh, no, uh, Gerard uh, McBain is with the Minnesota Wall, is the center. Yeah. Sorry, too much about that one over there. Uh, then, look, how can you say that about Price? Um, uh, Drouin Carrier I is 53 points. Price was Drouin Centron. Uh, look, do you like uh, Price? Uh, Drouin Talented player, but was no passion for the game. Marco Antonio. Um, I think uh, to back up Entertap, um, we're not trying to attack Price. We all love Price. We really love Price. Price is one of my favorites in that net. There's no end ifs and buts. But none of us knows or understands why he would come back for three games. What's behind that is what we're trying to say. Because we're, we're thinking if we're holding on to him, we should be protecting him. Right? That's kind of the point we're, we're making. So, uh, we're, Ellen, uh, just to, we, we don't want to offend you. That's not the point at all. Um, it's just, it's, we're trying to figure out mentally what is going on behind the scenes because we don't know. We're taking get shots in the air at it. But our score is 40 uh, goal of the season as 16 years old. Bedard? Uh, Johnny, uh, Connor Bedard score is six, he's 40 years old of the season at 16 years old. Life yeah. is a long going dresser. Uh, I would trade Norlander. We are stacked at left defenseman and add him into a trade to get better return. I think we have to see see what he's like before we can make that move. Give him some time. Give him a chance. Yep, I agree with you about that. He has a reason Montreal did not protect him in expansion draft. Who is this? Uh, I think he talked about Carey Price. Yeah, uh, well, again, it's, uh, you know, from what we know, Kerry uh, was trying to protect Allen. So that's just, you kind of got to go with that because none of us knows what's really behind the back scene. So, uh, you know, you got to trust what Kerry's saying. Yeah. Imagine if they get him and then he got through what he did, right? The knee and everything, right? Do you believe they have to return him to Montreal? Carey Price? I mean, you know, that's... Uh, if he wants to stay put... No, no, but if Seattle pick him up at the expansion draft... Oh, yeah, yeah. And then he, he goes over there, and then he, got, he, he cannot play. For the I, same I, reason I, they have right now, do you think Seattle could return, like... The league would tell, all right, wait a minute, that's not right, or whatever it is, and they send back price? I, th I do think that would happen. I think there are some clauses there that he has to be healthy. He has yeah, to I, I don't know. I just, you know, I just ask you a question. Uh, yeah. Look like uh, an altar fall part of this chair. Uh, what was Bergevin thinking when he traced Sergeyev for the point? That was a huge Muppet move. Uh, uh, Springfield gave a five round draft pick only, only ask a second server. Uh, Cruz for one, uh, yes. Good evening, Akinishan from the he off. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully, you're doing well, Mr. Round with Kings 20. Change went us. Uh, Kredit have three pick rounder this summer at three second round. Uh, yes, they have like 11 pick, I believe, or 11 or. 12 pick, I believe. Uh, Posse, Britrev, uh, RJ, uh, Danny. Uh, but remember one with trade was made for the one. He was so good on the junior his second season with Tampa. And you know what, after his bat, but on this time, he was an honest straight, I think. Uh, well, I think they were trying to address uh, making uh, Montrealers, Quebecers happy, you know, with picking up somebody from their community. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, look at all of the years. We were great. We had a lot of French hockey players back then, and they were great. 
again, the pressure to get a French Canadian and Barney there yeah. around, and you can add those together, and that's what we add at that moment. About yeah. that one over there. Uh, Roger said, well, could I get a third round pick from the other team? Uh, look like Roger Montreal tried to get a second round pick. That's what it looks like. Uh, Le Clefosson said, um, Lekanen for McBean and uh, first. Not bad. I don't know if Mr. want to do it, but it's not bad. No, it's not a bad trade. Uh, Gallagher is all heart and effort. We'll be able to improve his cardio the last smoke at 25 seconds before he be able to the ice. Also, for that contract, he made Bergeron cry. Yeah, absolutely right about that one over there. I still believe me for Gallagher, he would need a three month with nothing to do. I think you're right. I, uh, I, that, I heard a. I will. He will help. I don't say that will fix everything. I just feel it will help. I think you know you're on to something again, once again, because the I was listening to uh, Tony Marinero's show and he had uh, Norman Flynn on. And they were discussing it, and they were saying, you know, I think Martin St. Louis is trying to get Gallagher to see the game a little differently and play his strengths in a different approach instead of so playing his minutes so hard and being in the rough spots. Yeah. So that could be, yeah. Uh, Price want to leave, uh, Lick Lafosson said. Uh, no lender, no value. I don't think he has no uh, Carry value, has no trade and move close. You cannot trade him anyway. It's not said we he trade him, but if he want to leave, he can trade Carrie Price. I, I never said we can trade Price, first of all. Secondly, um, if Carrie Price asks to leave, now he can tell them, like exactly what uh, like Fleury got or... Other players got, hey, I cannot trade him there. I want to go there. I don't, like Giro, example. So that's Carey Price, because he has right now Carey Price, but I don't know if they want to trade him. I don't think so. Sh Shariat, um, hold on. He's back in the house. Oh, uh, Shariat he also worried, said he you. would come back in the heartbeat if you call him this summer. I didn't pay my internet bill this month. Nobody talk about this? What was Sherrod, that? Uh, Sherrod will come back uh, in a heartbeat if Hughes calls him this summer. Uh, that would depend. I, I think he would. I think he loves it yeah. in Montreal. Uh, yeah. I, ju I just, I don't know if it's the right direction to go for Montreal. That's the only thing. But again, That's if you're a hockey player, right, you leave the city, you're going to say, thank you, fans. Thank you, management. You're not going to send up thing like, if they call yeah, me, I'm not going to, you know what I mean? Like, it's politically <laughs> uh, 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 words to do that. How how much we can believe, I don't know. But I, I, I see what's been, always been honest, loyal for the Montreal Canadian. So I still yeah. believe him, right? But I don't, yeah. like you said, I don't see Montreal. Uh, very kind for Jordan Tyler, by, by the way, guys, he said, uh, Three, you are fantastic. Thank in our tap and Andrew and of course coach. Yes, uh, Jordan, Thank that's the reason they are beside me because the, with, with all the money that they get, uh, that's the <laughs> that's now. the reason that they are coming all the time here. So, uh, <laughs> coach and the NBA's initials. Can a captain help behind the bench like a stone to coach player as a captain? Uh, I'm not sure, Adam. Why? Uh, he seemed to mention that earlier about Stone as a captain. Uh, I, I, I get that he's he's an integral part of that team and he's really the the heartbeat of the team, but I, I, I don't get the coaching part of it. I don't, I I don't think, think that's... Uh, I, I don't see that too. Type of thing. Yeah. Uh, I think that people seeing Dennis Savard go behind Montreal's bench back at when we yeah. won that cup. So I think there there may be some question marks that way. Would he be good there? I don't see Maybe this down. anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Stop Motion Penta Studio in the house. Number one fans are who? The Dallas Star. 
And I believe he loved the Ottawa Senators. Top machine, then it was the winner beat in our tap during the Frenchy quiz at the end of the year, summertime, where in our tap completely destroyed everybody all summer. But he did not win the most important <laughs> night of the season. So in our tap <laughs> fall apart at the end. I pulled of the, the Colorado. Year. I pulled the Colorado. <laughs> you remember the question about the Sweden players? Yes, yes, with uh, Steven Mansberg. Right? It was Steven Man Manberg about that one over there. About that one. Yeah. How can you forget? <laughs> we asked him, uh, and Drew, he, he's from Sweden, and uh, I think we asked uh, um, Patterson where he's born. Not Elias Patterson, was was uh, another Patterson. But in Sweden, you're supposed to have two, two dots over the A or something like that. And I didn't know. And my keyboard does not do it anyway. So he thought he was from USA. <laughs> <laughs> and he and lost. He got eliminated because of that question. All year long, his questions would always say, oh, yeah, he's he's from Sweden. He's from Sweden. He's from <laughs> yeah, because every time you have an answer, he was always put the answer from Sweden. So, yes, yeah, true and not that. I, did Price said he want to stay with the abs in an interview? Yes, he did. He said he doesn't want to quit. He doesn't want to leave the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, that's what he's saying. So, uh, you know, got to believe. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I heard that those words a, exactly. I think those were the implied words. I'm not sure right. he actually used those words. Yeah. Look at the interview. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I agree. Uh, thank you so much, Price, to the bar here. How much total did Abs save on cap moving Shariat and 240? Uh, 4.5 for 240, I believe, and uh, 1.7. So yeah, that's about that $6 million. Dollars. Yeah, because they're retaining half of it. Yeah. Right. Uh, carry one is money, but trade me. Uh, if Kate Captain get hurt and out of the a while, do they put the C on somebody else like they do the A? No. And not always, no. Uh, sometimes they do, but for the most part, just the assistant captain becomes the yeah. Like exactly. they might alternate. Yeah. Uh, look, Cody is gonna be stuck with young talent. Y yes. Oh, yes. For sure. Uh, Luke said, "I would love to see Shariat back, but I'm not like Coach a Dreamer. I cut Chris the Tank. <laughs> I can't wait when he goes sign a contract." I'm going to invite <laughs> Luc Lafortune live with us and mention to him, look, for a year, I told you about that. And See, again, I'll, I'll, I'll give the, him that. I, I love Sherat too, uh, but I love Latang too. So, As I said, if Latang does not sign a month in Pittsburgh, he signed with Montreal. I, I, I want to be I sure agree. you understand that. I don't say he will come to Montreal without Pittsburgh. But if there's no That's work right. over there, uh, helping the board uh, behind the bench. I don't see that, Adam. Uh, Kobe hate that. They're already six behind the bench, usually, uh, counting all the staff. Uh, they don't know where to go between each other during the game. Uh, so I don't see that would be a good idea, Adam. As a hockey, I, I don't see that as a good move, honestly. <laughs> uh, just find out, Tucket, leave in Vegas. That'd be better way to get there. Stephen said Canada. I said Sweden. Adam, here we go. That's the reason behind <laughs> that. Right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, any solution for Ottawa goalie carousel? Uh, uh, honestly, stop. What happening over there? They would try to trade uh, at Anton Forsberg uh, because they have Gustafsson and they have also Matt Murray. They are stuck Matt Murray for two more years at six point million dollars. So I think that would be the only way about that. Uh, uh, Bergevin and Sean Parker de Peru both were put on waiver. Yeah. I agree with you about that one over there. Yeah. Uh, thanks. I would try to find an answer about that, but never could. Not a problem. Uh, Ron, um, uh, just ask him not tap. Uh, we call him uh, Alex, uh, Alicia, or we ask him go go, and in our tap show up. And he would tell you exactly about the answer. <laughs> if the time don't sign in Montreal, you have to eat your helmet. No, but I'm going to change my helmet. The collar. 
Yeah. Uh, Coach Phyllis Pusu said from 70 to 75, Gila Point was the second best defenseman in the shell behind Bobby Orr. I love Gila Point. Great yeah. defenseman. By the way, he was a standing ovation last night for Gila Point. Uh, he yeah. was uh, present uh, at the game. That was nice. That was nice. I need to do. Uh, I need to reach him. He's a funny guy too. He's a funny guy. He is. He really is. Yeah, that's him. He he took uh, he took some nail and and nail uh, the shoes at uh, Ivan Cornouille, and <laughs> yeah. uh, Cornouille could not go nowhere. How about that shaver right. cream in the helmets. Yeah, that was he, all he the was kind the of stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> a question for Andrew: Which goalie is more likely to come in Toronto? In Toronto, hmm. I'm thinking Varlamov. That's who I'm thinking. If you're talking about by the trade deadline, I'm thinking if, if they make a move, if they make a move, and they may not now with this kid, it's going to be Varlamov. But I don't know if they're going to make a move in the net. Um. And I'll tell Don answer because she said only Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mom's the word. <laughs> but that's what I feel. I feel like that way with that. Finally had the right answer. <laughs> I, I did not answer myself too. I just, because you know, everybody waiting for the next thing to do. But um, <laughs> Seattle or Vancouver and Luciano. All right. Why would the ad sign a veteran uh, like Le Tank and let go a younger Ben Chariot go make no sense? They're different, different types of players. That's the whole yeah. thing. Um, you know, like uh, there's more off, way more offense in Latang. Uh, ben Chirot, if you want somebody to clear the front of the net and bang the heck out of somebody, that's who you want defensively. So they're two different styles altogether. You can't, it's oranges and apples. Totally. You, you get a quarterback with Chris yeah. Latang. Yeah, New Jersey yeah, did, uh, tied the one. game 2-2, by the way. Um, Stop said that Murray has been so aggravating because of his injury. Gustafson has been just disappointed. Two goals and six shots and period. Not great. That's clear. Gustafson looked like Montembeau in my eyes, but um, uh, I never could say Gila Point could do everything. And uh, looked like for him to find a goaltender the Zamboni's driver. Uh, La Point pierced uh, Mario Tremblay and Pepsi until Mario was in the shower. Read it in Ken Dryden book. Yeah, I got it. I read it. It was good. <laughs> uh, okay, brother. Uh, time to lift weight. Uh, good night. See you tomorrow. Not a problem, Alan. Care, Thank you so Alan. much. I appreciate care, a lot, Alan. Mr. Thank Alan. For being with us. Uh, pick yeah, it up. Some you. weight for us. Are oh, you not believe it? Uh, then stop said bye, Alan. I just complete the last one of everything we got tonight. Wow. <laughs> nice. Good work, work, Coach. And we have 11, 17 about that one over there. And uh, no, I did not do any friendship quiz tonight. I apologize because I make a video about the trade before that, like from 8.15. I thought I was going to have a nice night tonight, but... Uh, <laughs> When I got the Mr. Ben Chariot and we exchanged both of us together about the trade, um, that's what happened about that. Uh, Radzilav, uh, Montreal next year for add good energy, veteran, a cheap price, good or not? No, I wouldn't take Radzilav back at this stage. Radzilav is not, not a fan. have a really difficult year to be honest with you. Yeah. And yeah. a cheap price, good or not? Uh, uh, I don't see. When exactly is the trade deadline over? 3 o'clock, I believe. March 21st, 3 o'clock Eastern Time. Hey, we but, both got it right in our tap. <laughs> but, yeah. but. Hey, over. But, remember, after the time you signed the paper and they sent to NHL, NHL accept the trade. Right. Let's go until 4, 4 to 15. So, right, right. Uh, I just want to Good mention point. that about that one of that. About that. Uh, so that's yes. what uh, puts in is back with us. He show up at the last minute of the game. I'm not late. Uh, you just got early. 
Come no, on. Uh, Poutine, you show up exactly when the, all the guests leave the building. <laughs> so I don't know if you call it late or not, but uh, if, we, if we can see 15 more minutes and not have to <laughs> fall asleep between. <laughs> so I'm, <laughs> I'm curious enough that uh, if you fall asleep, are you going to landing on me or landing on <laughs> Andrew? <laughs> I'm not touching that one. <laughs> I'm bold. <laughs> uh, to go eating pass, I think, is not so bad, uh, Alexander. Now, uh, Alexander, it's a lot to go for Alexander Redzlav. It's not great for $7.5 million. Uh, he played on the four line over there right now. He really lost completely. Have a really bad year over there. Uh, no one come to mind to remplace Ben Shariah. That's me instead to losing 6-3 to the Cadiz. With the time, we lost 6-5. I, I, I cannot, you know what I mean? Like, if you think Ben Shariah is better to Chris Letang, uh, not a problem. I, I just tell you, for me, I would take Chris Letang before Ben Shariah on my book. Uh, I make it, that's all the matter. Exactly puts in... Uh, You make it at the right time. The only thing you have to do is if you click on the likes, that's possible. We get there, Mr. And I'll tap. We'll see. We don't know if we miss only one right now, Mr. And I'll tap. We are at 74. We got to get it. So if we click on the I'll likes, one flipper. more. and I'll even uh, get Flipper to dance. We're going to have uh, no choice to do it. Uh, I think Montreal did learn move. I don't expect anything more from Luke. Possible, honestly. Uh, Luke. Possible. That's About what that. I've been saying. Is I kind of thought that it. from the get-go. I, I hope there's so. more, but I think that that think was so. the main one I was looking for. Uh, would you have spoken to Talos Milanik uh, to be sure he would come to Montreal in the future? Uh, I'm sure he talked after the trade. He cannot talk before the trade. Uh, And secondly, um, he can talk to the players, but he cannot do, uh, you have no agent when you go to college. You have a, not a supervisor, how you call it, like um, a conseiller in French, or a, a counselor or someone helping the family, but he cannot have an agent at this age when you play college. So I'm sure he talked to them after he cannot talk before that. Uh, you know, I'm alive, so awesome. Putin, you're missing out that we're wearing a dress. Uh, uh, but now, uh, right, is it possible? Uh, possible, Franco, I don't believe that would happen, uh, right. honestly. Vegas fan has start a fire. They bore, they bore a bit soon, by the way. Uh, <laughs> have a great really night, guys. Days. Great power, please show. Looking forward for the next live stream. Thank you so much, Paul. Very kind. Paul is a new thank supporter of the Hockey Nation live show. We want Thanks, to thank Paul. him. About that oh one over there. God. Yeah. Rivers. <laughs> 75 likes, Mr. In our tap tonight for a power play show. Unbelievable with the Dauphin and the house. Uh, Laurent Dauphin is in the house tonight. Uh, There we There go, he the Dauphin. We hit There and after that, and the dress was a Boston Bruins Toronto Montreal. Putin, welcome. Did you see the Dryden coat from his book and the pose here, Sir Roger? And after where you get that Dauphin about that, he went to the, um, uh, the cis flag and he, he, shoot, uh, he, he, he shoot an arrow on the balloons and then he gave him a dolphin. He come back home, put him on his pocket. Every night he put this on the water and the dolphin <laughs> is in the sun on the bat on the bathtub every night. And he only he does him though, he does not eat anymore. He sleep with <laughs> he sleep with in our tub the night. <laughs> right. When we get after the event, we hear some stuff you never heard before that one over there. Um did show you get trade to the Panthers, uh Andy Kuivula. Yes, uh, yes, uh, Mr. Andy, he got three. You three, an amazing thing for the great contents. You bring no problem, Kelly, pleasure. Again, you, without really. you guys, we Thank cannot you. do anything. 
We really You're appreciate awesome. Kelly. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. <laughs> Franco said next year ad will be well watching uh possible. Uh new some Limaya uh chat ever. I agree with you. Look, it's fun to see that for sure. Good job in our tap. Uh here we go. Look, we are all a chat weirdo. Danny T. Um <laughs> Coach, I do not get it. Vegas should bring up some of the, those young kids in American Hockey League. The problem with them is the salary cap and the number of contract you have in the NHL and the number the number of players on the roster. So without injuries, uh, you stock, unfortunately. And what happened also, if you bring one on the, from American Hockey League, Adam, you have to put someone on the waiver before they release him and they go down. So... Uh, that's happening about that one over there. Uh, they call us weird because we don't like to leave a uh, like. Uh, but be careful because when you don't do that, <coughs> it's coming for Danny T, by the way. So be careful. Tempa be shadow tie a one. Tempa uh, Kelly, don't talk about prediction because I'm going to get. That's it. Um, Mr. Notap, Mr. Uh, Mr. Andrew, anything you want to say before we leave the building? It's 11.30 and we need our sleep with the dolphin now. <laughs> Who wants to it's start? The tip of the, it's the tip of the iceberg. I still think we're going to get a, uh, quite a few dominoes falling. Might not be right away. It might be one a day until we get to uh, Sunday and Monday. I think Monday will be a busy day. I see the McBain thing happening. I really do. I think we're close on that one. Uh, I hope Mr. Intertap's right, because I'm concerned that there won't, other than the McBain thing, I'm not convinced that we'll do something else, but I'm really hoping that Intertap's right, because the one good thing we do have, we do know that Gordon likes to live on the edge. So we're not used to that in have land. So this is going to be new for us. So it's going to be an interesting ride. Yeah. My, my, my last question for you guys is that, like, do you know something where something where could happen? Like, maybe not Montreal, but in NHL. Do you have like something that you, you nobody expect, or do you think a team would be jumping on something like, oh my God, I never saw that coming? If you tell that, it's going to be one big trade that we're not expecting. Yeah. Uh, do yeah, you know what it would be. be? No, I don't. It's, <laughs> if we knew that, it wouldn't be Hard. a surprise, I guess. Um, it, it, yeah, it's difficult. It's going to be somebody that wants a particular piece and is willing to dispense with a key piece. It's, it'll be a true hockey deal. I think that there will be somewhere there a true hockey deal. I don't know what happened, but Calgary is 5 2 now. Uh, nice. Foley, maybe. <laughs> wow. I, I will say thing, one thing for you guys is this part. I would not be surprised. Check Run got trade and yeah. Lang Home is yeah. going to the San Luis Blues. Yeah, I see those two going. But I don't look at, at that as the big explosion under the water that we are used to seeing at least one of them. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, think, I agree I with you about that there. one over there, for sure. Uh, before we leave, we want to thank each one of you guys here. Without you, this is impossible. Like I always mention, like, uh, I know what I do. I'm a driver. But you guys, as an insider, I couldn't ask him better or more. Uh, what you bring him, uh, you know, we make a lot of joke, but this is volunteering and uh, I cannot express more my gratitude every time I, I say that, but because you deserve it and uh, people need to know uh, you are here as a volunteering and pass the time to be live. Not everybody wants to be live. I think we'd be great if other people in the chat would, could join us. A lot of people in the chat knows about hockey and they want to sharing or have a question, but I just want to say both of you, thank you so much for what you do here for the Hockey Nation Live show. It's uh, always a pleasure having uh, you. And uh, don't go nowhere. Monday, we're going to use you at some point. Talking about the last day of the trade deadline, uh, until then, my friend, I want to remind everybody in the chat, you are awesome. You are amazing. You have a are great night, everybody. Best. And remember, and coach, you have, have a good one. Greatness have a good one. Of you. And yes, thank you. Our first rounder. 
Thank you like so much, that. everybody. It was a pleasure having both. We know it was a special edition of the Power Play because the three month trial. If ever happened again, we're going to do something special. But until then, all the people in the chat, we thanks for your support. And of course, we want to remind you one more thing: be well, be healthy. Find a way not only dominate your day, but Mr. Notap. What do you have to find the way to do that? Dominate your 2022. Can I ask him out to finish the show, Mr. Andrew? Thank you so much. And I will see you uh, next time. Have a great night, everybody. Good Have night, a great guys. one. Take Good care. Thank you, Franco, Rada, Putin, RJ, Rice, Danny, Kelly, Adam. Look La Fortune, oh, we love you, look. Johnny Golden, in our tap. Andrew oh, Lapage, Adam Berger, Kelly. Pas de problème, mon Johnny. Yes, go leave, go. That's all right.